Ken Easley of the Seattle Seahawks, and you're watching Norb Camp. What's up, 12s? It's Love the Tuba with the Seattle Seahawks, and you're watching Norb Camp. I'm DK Metcalf from the Seattle Seahawks, and you're watching Norb Camp. What's up, everybody? And welcome to game day here on NorbCam. My name is Norb Kawili, your host. Glad you could be here for this exciting, history-making international NFL game, first ever in Germany, between the Seattle Seahawks and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Woo, I'm so stoked. Nervin's so stoked at 6.30 or 6.15 in the morning. Too early, but hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But man, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. For those of you who have been to my channel regularly and have been along the journey with me for a long time, shout out to you guys. And for those of you who are new, uh, welcome to my reaction channel or my reaction show today. Uh, Going to have a lot of fun today. You know, I'll be doing a little play by play. I got all kinds of little sound effects and things like that whenever uh, something cool and exciting happens. And uh, which reminds me, I gotta get my little, uh, I gotta get my little light here that goes off anytime people subscribe or if there's a super chat. I gotta get my little 12 light going on here. I gotta get myself situated. Normally my dad would be here with me uh, to uh, talk about this game, but he is at the game. And <laughs> so, uh, he's there with my sister, been there since uh, before the weekend, and uh, been touring around Germany and attending all kinds of parties and stuff like that, and you know, I wish, uh, wish I could have been there too. I had an opportunity, I could have done it, but I, my daughter's high school volleyball playoffs were taking place this past weekend, and I wanted to be here for that. And uh, luckily, they did make it. Unfortunately, they were out, ousted on the first day of the playoffs, so it didn't last very long. But hey, you know, I was here to at least be there for the final game of her senior season. So uh, it was worth it for me, even though I got to miss all the fun festivities over there. But hey, I get to spend it with you guys over here. So, um, so we're doing this thing. Uh, I want to tell you about the giveaway that I've got going on. Uh, for the um, channel today, as you can see right here, this is my current subscriber count. I might then make that a little bit bigger since there's nothing going on in here anyway. There you go. Uh, it's climbing. Uh, I've been having a lot of traffic the last few weeks, especially with the Mariners and then with the Seahawks season being the surprising good start that it's been. And uh, oh, we've got a super chat from AD. He says, But I'm on Discord, just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll get to you guys in a minute here. I got a couple people in here. So I wanted to tell you a few uh, formalities as it pertains to some of the things going on today uh, besides uh, talking about and doing play-by-play -play on this game, which starts in about 15 minutes. And there's a super chat from Anthony D. Thank you for your support always, bro, since you've been here since the beginning for a long time. AD, the artist formerly known as Anthony D. Uh, the uh, So today... I'm on the verge of history, not just for this game, but right there. I need 112 subscribers to get to 50,000. If, or should I say, when we break 50,000 today, because I'm confident you guys can help me achieve this, uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, hopefully live if we do this, if we can reach this uh, at the end of the game. I'm going to be giving away a couple things, a, a, a souvenir package to celebrate 50,000, the main bit being this official Munich game, Seahawks, Buccaneers, German game t-shirt uh, is going to go to a lucky winner out there. What we're going to do is, and, and there's a, uh, also a Norbcam beanie. I'm going to autograph this to the winner and some other little stuff to throw in there as well. So if you want to be considered for the giveaway, what you got to do is first you got to hit that subscribe button. And I, if you subscribe during the show, I'll shout you out. Uh, it should notify me that you're subscribing, and I'll and I'll, and I'll uh, 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 recognize you if I if ever see it. Uh, but subscribe to my channel, and then you got to go to my Discord, where the link is in the description and also at the top of the chat. Uh, you'll go to the Discord, and and from there you click on the giveaway section. Uh, 
in the giveaway channel inside Discord. And then there's a little like party hat button that you got to click on. Once you've done that, you're entered into the drawing. So you got to go through Discord to do it. The guys on Discord who are helping run things for me are going to send me uh, the names. They're going to take tabulate all the names. They're going to auto-generate 10 finalists. And then the 10 finalists, I'm going to spin the wheel and do a last person standing gets the, the prize package. I'll be at the end of the game. Hopefully, if I can break 50 today. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, that is... Uh, what we're doing today. So let's keep it going. Oh, got another super chat here. Bug versus windshield says, got my 39 woolen jersey on and red beer in my hand. Nice. And there's that super chat right there. Bug versus windshield. Love it. Thank you for uh, for being on the show and thank you for, su- for your support. Uh, so, yeah, and then also, I'm going to be, if you're in Discord, I'm going to be opening the microphones and talking during breaks, interviewing you guys. Um, uh, to talk about this game, reacting to things as we go. So uh, hop in on Discord, a lot happening in there. So uh, that is the key to our little uh, fun interactive channel today. You know, it's not just me talking about the game. That's a big part of it. But also me getting a chance to talk to you guys, hearing your guys' voices, and uh, sharing in the excitement, hopefully, what would be a, an amazing win if we could beat Tom Brady. Evan G, thanks for subscribing. All right, that should get me a little bit higher. Let's see, where are we at here? Am I going to get to 90 here? Oh, right there at 888. Got to get to 50 today. I feel good. I feel confident this is going to happen today. I am working on trying to get my sister my uh, my dad are in the stadium right now. They're going through all the uh, pregame ceremonies. I think there's a performance going on down there on the, on the field right now. On the pitch, as they say in Germany. Uh, but... They have Wi-Fi. She's trying to get us connected so I could do a in-stadium uh, interview with her from Germany on her phone. So we had some technical issues trying to get that going, but uh, we're working on it. So hopefully we can get something going here uh, shortly. So that's what's happening. Uh, if you just want to chat it up while we're waiting for kickoff, feel free to um, let me know where you're watching from, state and city or city and country. And let me know what you think. Uh, what's your score prediction for today's game? I said on my roundtable a couple days ago, I said we were, I was optimistic we'll get the win. I believe my score was 31-24 by a touchdown is what I was thinking. So uh, feel free to, to jump in on the chat and uh, do your thing over there. So um, I'm going to try to grab a few calls right now while things are winding up to kickoff let's go to uh where's my thing here discord oh there we go discord is happening actually discord already was going on uh let's see amanda's in here amanda morning. hey good morning amanda how you feel are you feeling um, chipper this bright and early morning i will in a minute when i get some coffee <laughs> I know a lot of people want you to get coffee. Oh, I see my dad's connecting in here. Hold on a second. Hold you guys. I got to. I got to do this. I got to see if I can get my dad on the on the show here. Uh, let me see now. Oh, oh, oh! It, it looks like it looks like. Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I got I got them on the on the on the call. Hold on, breaking news. I'm gonna bring my dad, my sister into the show. Stand by here. Hey, there they are. I can hear you guys. I heard you for a second. All right, show show me a little bit of the view. There it is. There's inside Allianz Stadium. There's my dad, Kuya Bert. Hey, no, give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. Oh, good. You can hear us. I can hear you guys. Yes, loud and clear. I hope, I hope everybody out there can hear as well. So, how, how's how's it going over there? What's happening? I can't hear you. Fucking here. No, it's too loud. It's too loud yeah. in here right now. I have but, to hear you. Yeah, but the Buccaneers are being introduced right now. Okay. Let's okay. See what we got. What the stadium looks like. Let's Somebody see it. This is what this stadium looks like. Oh, there you go. There's the view of inside the stadium. There they got the corner of the end zone. 
pretty uh pretty high up there but the fact that they even have tickets is pretty amazing special shout out to haggy tyler fryer for uh connecting them with some tickets uh, that's what they say looks yeah, like. Yeah. Looks good. It's great to be here. It's amazing. It's, there's so many people from so many countries and so many different team jerseys. Yeah, too many people. In fact, we had to wait for a more than an hour just to get in line, just to get, you know, into this uh, stadium. It's a beautiful stadium. Oh, wow. There are a lot of Seahawks fans here. I can't really tell which team has more yet. Yep, a lot of Seahawks fans, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans, but it's, it's beautiful right now. Yeah. So. We're having a great time. The weather is perfect. Oh. But it's like perfect today. Oh gosh, Tom Brady's being introduced. Yeah, right I now. see that on the screen. Tom Brady and the and the Bucks Ooh. coming in. Sean Noble, thanks for subscribing. It's a funny building right now here, Norm. It, we started very early coming to the stadium and we waited like about how many hours? Five hours. Five hours. Wow. Yeah. Okay, here we Unfortunately, the Seahawks are the visitors. We don't get any great introductions. Just the Buccaneers. Right. And now we're going to get the Seahawks come in. Okay, hold on. Let me show you what it looks like here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Live action from inside Allianz Stadium here. As we uh, see the Seahawks. Oh, we're going to do it here. Oh, it's coin toss already. Okay. Yeah, this is a home game for the Buccaneers, which means they get the home team treatment. The visitors don't get introduced name by name. They just get introduced as a whole. Tampa Bay will receive. That means uh, Seattle must have won the toss. It's pretty amazing. When you think there's, there were 3 million ticket requests to go to this game. And so to, to be in this game uh, is really, really cool. Uh, I, could, I, could, I wish I could have been right there next to my sister and my dad, but that's all right. Do it next time, whenever that next time might be. All right, while we're doing that, let me just, uh, let me, let me pipe in with a couple other uh, hellos just so I can connect with some people who are waiting on Discord. Let me go to Luke Duke 678 Luke Duke 678 welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. There you go. Now I can hear you. Luke Duke 678 hey, here. Hey, what's, how's it going? It's pretty good. How are you? Hey, I'm good. You excited about this game, man? Uh, let's hope we can get a dub. You got a score prediction for today. Uh, I'm going to go 24 to, uh, 14, 24, 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. Low scoring game. Okay. How about, uh, Payton? Payton's in the house. Payton. Hey, Payton. Welcome to the show. Oh, there they go. They're getting the, uh, they're getting the, uh, ready for the national anthem. <laughs> Peyton, do you got a score prediction for this game? Oh, wow. There's a lot of... I'm going, I'm going to go 21-17 Seahawks. 21-17 Seahawks. How about Seahawks fan 14? What, what's your score prediction today? Oh, we got the anthem. Let me just uh, turn down for a second here. I'll show you my score prediction. Right the the thank you for joining the North fam. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
National Anthem with both flags being flown. You see the Germany flag as well as the United States flag. Awesome. Oh, that'd be the German National Anthem. Same, same name as my oldest daughter. There's a guy in the show who's got the same green hair as I do on the broadcast. There's Pete Carroll, close up on the broadcast. The, the live stream that you're seeing here from my dad's phone is probably a good 45 seconds ahead of the broadcast. That was good. I could hear it. I could see it. Look good. I could see it. it sounded good. I, so everything looks good. This? Hey, Norb, do you want us to leave the call? Uh, you know, I'll let you guys enjoy the game. So thanks for uh, sharing that with us. And, you know, maybe we could check back at, back at halftime or something. All right. Here, you know, I know, I know. It's, I'm sure it's loud in there. All right, I'll let you. I'll, I'll let you guys get back to the game. You guys enjoy the game, and we'll check back with you maybe at halftime. All right, talk to you guys later. All right, let them enjoy things in peace while we get back to the game here. Um, yeah, that was that was cool. Uh, again, uh, for those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel, Norbcam. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about this uh, day today, this game. Uh, look at that. We're getting closer. Only 106 subscribers left before we get to 50,000. If we get to 50 today, uh, I will be giving away this Munich Game official shirt as well as a Norb Cam beanie. I'll autograph these things for you and throw in a couple other goodies in there as well. So if you want to join the contest, all you got to do is one, Subscribe to my channel. Just hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'd appreciate that. And then uh, then you just need to go to the Discord and hit the React button in the Game Day channel. And then you'll be automatically entered in the drawing, which we'll do uh, at the end of the game. So, uh, very excited. I, I hope we get to, to break 50 today. We'll keep a close eye on that as we get close to kickoff for this game. Um, uh, I see a lot of people in here. We've got uh, like Dante from Hawaii. Alina oh. Dahl is here, of course. Uh, again, Yoda Soda. Welcome to the Norb Fam. Homie Productions. Tells Gino to have a big game for my fantasy team. Yes, he's been lighting it up fantasy wise and just overall play wise. Okay, here we go. Time for kickoff. Seattle yeah, will kick off first. See if our defense can rise to the occasion. Let's go. It's game day. Enough of the pomp and circumstance. Enough of the lead and of the hype. Let's just play this game and try to get a win here. And again, during the break, I will go to the Discord and, and uh, chat with you guys. And we're underway. Kick is 
Yep, take it in the end zone. He's going to take it out. Slips a little bit. Gets to Oh, slipped again. 10. He's slipping all over the place. Down at the 15-yard line. Boy, that field, if that's a sign of things to come, maybe not the most ideal conditions. He slipped trying to get his traction out of the end zone. He slipped on a cut, which is great for for our defensive purposes and kick coverage, but not so good as a sign of what this field might look like. So uh, they might be on skates out there today. Well, maybe he's like slipping and sliding like he was on ice skates. Well, let's see what happens here. Woo, you're underway. I hear, am I hearing booze in the crowd? And here we go. Brady under center. Snap, he's going to hand off at the middle. Oh, take it down. No gain. Uh, hitting by a host of Seahawks uh, right off the bat. Second and 10. No gain. Well, here we go. Second down and 10. Brady in the gun this time. Three receivers right, one left. Single setback in the backfield. Snap. Brady's looks. He's going to throw. Tipped at the line of scrimmage and incomplete. Third and 10. Great start so far. So far, no productive yards in this drive. This is exactly what the doctor ordered for Seattle. It is a natural grass turf, so uh, better for injury prevention since you don't get those ankles and knees locked up. But here you go. Brady's going to throw. He drops back, throws deep, left side, not even close. No flags. No, sir. Fourth and 10. There we go. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Love it. Good start. Woolen on number six, Jones. And that wasn't even uh, a close. He was overthrown by like three yards. And they will punt from deep inside their own territory. This should give Seattle some good field position. That's a win for the Seattle defense. All right. And here's the kick. Punt is in the air. It's going to be taken. Wow. It gets a good bounce at the 32. And it rolls out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Nice kick. Favorable bounce. But that's where Seattle will start their first possession. They flip the field. Seattle will have a first and 10 from their own 24 in just a moment. Yo, boy. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Geno Smith comes in here with his league-leading 73% completion rate. I think he's fourth from in touchdowns to interceptions. Let's see what the offense can do with 1402 uh, left just early action here. Trips to the left. Lockett's a single, single receiver. Now Fant goes back to the right. Gino in the gun with Walker behind him. Snap. Low snap. He's going to throw quickly outside to Metcalf. And that is close for a first down. Maybe. Did he get it? Yes, he does. That's good for a Seahawks. First down. Nice little easy uh, out route on the left sideline to DK. Quick throw before the pressure gets to him. He does get DK, or I should say, uh, um, Gino got knocked down after the throw, but that's the key is getting the ball, getting rid of the ball and not sitting there letting the pressure get to it. Two receivers to the left, double tight ends on the right. Walker at the backfield. He's going to pitch to Walker. Now cut. Go, go, go. Run for about four yards to the 38 yard line. It'll be second down and six or seven. Second down and uh, I'm not sure. It looks like say a seven. Let's see. How's our subscriber count? Oh, we're at 909. Only 81 more or 91 more to go to get to 50, you guys. Davis Peter 98, thank you for the sub. Here we go. Gino under center this time. Two receivers to the left, two to the right in a tight bunch, tight formation. It's handoff to Walker off the left side. Dances, not much, maybe a yard to the 40 yard line. It's going to be third down and six. Good, uh, good defensive stop. This is a good defense by uh, Tampa Bay here.
Third down here coming up. We got sellout crowd. Colors of every jersey out there. Truly an international game. I'm wearing actually my London, as you can see, my London 2018 jersey that I uh, got from the London game. And Kieran Evans, thanks for the, subs, for the sub. Third and five for the 40-yard line. Gino in the gun. Two receivers left and two to the right. Uh, delay game. Delay of game. Doggone it. Waited too long. It's going to be a delay of game. It's going to be third down to 10. Mm, Got to get that snap off. Mm. John Velowski says, You're a good man for this, Norm. Been watching you for years, but I think I only recently subbed. Great job commentating. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I enjoy it. It's fun. I kind of wish I'd sub. I had. Uh, Commentated live stream that Husky game last night. Oh my gosh, the Washington Huskies in uh, Otson Stadium against or the Oregon Ducks. What a game that was. They ended, Huskies ended up winning it. 12 minutes left. Gino wants a timeout because the clock was winding down again. They were about to get a second delay of game. Right now, it's self inflicted, selected, or uh, it's self inflicted errors ruining this drive right here and creating a third and long situation. Uh, let's see. What is the current oh, 49, 9, 17. Only 83 left, you guys. Wow. We're not even barely into the first quarter. We might break this before the end of the first quarter. All right, here we go. Third and 10 at their own 35 yard line. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Travis Homer now in the backfield, as usually when it's a third down situation. Gino in the gun. Snap. They rush four. He's got good protection. Now the pocket's breaking down. He's in trouble. Got to get rid of it. Oh, God, he goes down. Went the 17-yard line. Takes a huge sack. Mm. Actually lost all the yards they gained between the penalty and the sack. They end up getting knocked down way back in their own territory. Ends up being a negative Eight yard drive mm. to the 17 yard line. Accuracy or is that crazy? Accuracy. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Well, that was an ugly finish to what was looking like a promising drive. Now, Michael Dixon wants to kick also from his own, uh, practically just outside his own end zone, at, standing at the two. Snap. Good snap. Kick. Angling right. Kick is. Short to the 40-yard line, and Buccaneers will have favorable field position. Exchanging uh, possessions, no score, with 11.05 left. And the game will take a timeout. All right. Well, slow start. Too many errors by the Seahawks on that offensive drive, so... Well, let's see what uh, let's see what our Discord friends are doing here. Hey, let's check it. Hey, we got Andra in hey. the house from Georgia. What's up, Norb? What's going on? How you doing, man? Doing good. How's Vanessa doing? Uh they're doing all right. Uh, they're a little bummed that their team got knocked out of the playoffs uh, in early action. Oh, they did. They did. They had their game on Friday, and uh, they had a, the double elimination. Unfortunately, got beat by both teams, and so sadly, the Kenton Ridge volleyball season has come to an end, and Sophie's high school st season uh, career really is is done. And we'll see if she will play in college. That's the big wait right here. But uh, it was good, though. It was yeah. a fun season, and you know. Yeah, yeah, to me, um, to me, well, yesterday we we went to the uh, game of uh, Hamilton City, which well, Hamilton is a city in Georgia, mm -hmm. so we went to the game called Titans. We were okay. in a Titans team where I remember the Titans. My cousin's, <laughs> uh, the, my cousin's uh, son is is in. That's I mean. That's my cousin's son's game. Mm. Yeah, it's a football okay. team. So my I got a video reaction gotcha. that I did, but we lost. So, oh. yeah. Well, I know. Losing is tough. And, you know, unless you end up winning the whole thing, it always ends too soon, right? You know, whether it's the first right. round, or the second, or third, whatever. It's just tough to not be the last one standing. But 
Uh, yeah, I don't know if you, right there I don't know if you can him. see this. Uh, yeah, I could see it. That's me reaction. Oh, so okay. let me press. Let me press play for a bit. Let me see if I okay. okay there you while go. you're getting that worked out, let me just uh, acknowledge some other people in here. Yeah, I could see you. I could see you reacting to uh, to the game there. That's cool. Doing your own uh, live reaction or recorded reaction. That's cool. That's cool. All right, Nick H is in here. Nick, are you uh, where you you're in the house? Seahawks fan fourteen as well as Shardall. Welcome. I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Let's get back to this game. No problem. All right, here we go. Uh, so it's first and ten for the the lead leaguing league. I should say division leading Tampa Bay Buccaneers. First and ten at the forty one yard line. Uh, Brady play action is going to throw deep drop throws middle of the field. Oh, it's caught. Mike Evans, big gain. Amazing to get that ball in there with the defender at his face, but it's like a 30-yard throw. Wow. We haven't seen this all year. Who is the coverage? It was Quandre, no, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant on Mike Evans on the crossing route. He was right there. He just he just couldn't get the, his hands on the ball. He had perfect position. He just got his hands up late. It's a big gain into Seattle territory. 30 yards on the play, right to the Seattle 30 yard line. Snap. He's going to run this time to Fournette off tackle, gets a big chunk. Eight, almost nine yards. Oh, he dropped the ball late, but the Buccaneers fall on it. There's a flag on the play, however. Holding on the offense. Whew. Okay. And that's why I got such a big game. Instead of a nine-yard gain, it's a minus 10 for the hold. Who's the guilty party? Oh, right there. Number 60 is at the center, grabbing uh, Cody Bryant, basically tackling him. So instead of a uh, second and one, it's a first and 20? Should be first and 20. Uh, first and 18. All right, ball at the 38-yard line of Seattle. Brady in the gun this time. Two receivers right snap. A draw. Fournette slips again. He gets hit, breaks a tackle, and gets three. So it'll be second down and 15. A lot of slips. That's the second time I've seen slip sliding by the Buccaneers. I wonder if they got brought the right shoes this time here. Um, I remember when Seattle played, if you guys remember when we played, and we were down, we were close, 72 Subs to go to get to 50. Here we go. Second down, it's 15. I'll tell you my story in a bit. Tampa uh, Brady to throw. He does. Swings it out to Fournette, but normally a yard gain on the swing pass of Fournette on the left side. And that's going to make this third down in about 15, 14. Third and 14 here. The penalty was huge. Just slow this drive down. The so third down, if they keep this to a... Well, right now, it would be about a 51-yard field goal attempt if they have to kick it from this spot right here. So, see, huge down right here. Third and 14, Tampa Bay trying to get into closer field goal range. Brady and the gun, three receivers right, one left. Fournette, the single setback. Snap. Right, they rush four. He drops back. Under pressure. It's caught. No, it's incomplete. Dropped by godwin at would have been at around the 32 yard lines dropped so it's fourth and 14 so will they go for a long kick of 51 yards is the question the ball at spot at the 35 yard line might be 52 mm, he's slipping too there's a lot of guys slipping that that grass i mean you can see it uh just there's lots of chunks of grass flying around every time the, the guys uh make any kind of a move it's a lot chunks of turf just peeling off 52 yard field goal attempt they will try it from the left hash maybe he'll slip here's a snap hold kick it's wide he missed it wide and short no good with 853 left so seattle will get the football it was a high snap too but he got the spot down. He just pushed it right. Looked like one of my golf swings. So Seattle dodges a bullet here, and it's still no score. Whew. All right. Let's see where we're at here with the sub count. I got to keep updating this every few minutes here to see where we are with the giveaway. 49, 931, 69 to go before we draw. For the winner for 50, but we'll be keep we'll keep taking subs, but we get to 50 and uh it's gonna be fun time. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, let's go to the Discord here. We got a 49er fan in Shardall. Shardall, the 49er fan. And by the way, Epic, thanks for subscribing. Shardall, you there? You feel like chatting? Oh, wait. Got to bring the sorry. Got to bring the volume up. Got to bring it live. Ah, there you go. Shardall. Uh, Norm, uh, what are your top five keys to victory if the Seahawks only get a win over the? You're a little tough to hear. I think you're saying what? What did I? What are my keys to victory? Is that what you said? Yeah, what are your top five keys to victory if the Seahawks want to get want to get a win over the Buccaneers? Mm, okay, uh, first one is <sighs> let's see. They're kind of obvious, but I think we've got to one just continue to do what we've done really well, which is avoid the negative plays, which we didn't do so well on that first drive. Uh, uh, yeah. Avoid the pen, minimize the penalties. You know, win the turnover battle. And I think if we can rush, if we can get Ken Walker to get over 150, just over 100 yards, I feel like that that's going to be a good formula uh, to win this game. Because I just don't see a lot from this Tampa Bay offense. Their defense is going to be the one to, to I think, win the game for them. So if we can rush for pretty good chunky yardage, uh, that's going to open a bunch of other things up. So if we get over 100 yards for Kenneth Walker Jr. K9, I think we'll win this game. So uh, those are really my keys. Hey, Andrew, that light, right. How many yards do you think um, uh, Geno Smith's going to get over under 400 yards? Oh, <laughs> under 400 yards. I don't want him to have I, to throw that much. Uh, if we're running, if we're running yeah. for over 100, Gino won't have to throw for 400 yards. You know, his the more you put the ball up, the more chances there are that you're going to get sacked. As we saw, the more chances you're going to get intercepted. And uh, Gino's best strength is just to play a you know a, a, a fast paced, efficient, you know methodical you know chunks at a time type of game. So we'll see what happens. All right, back to the game, you guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for the the call. Let's get back to this first quarter action. Seattle with good field position at their own 42-yard line. Two receivers to the left, to the right. Motion, K-9. He's going to pitch to K-9 on the round right side. Turns the corner and gets about two yards. Well defended there by the corner who didn't let him get around the corner. He met him there and, and wouldn't uh, quit. Dominic, Sh- Dominic Shaw, thanks for the sub. Now, like I said, I, I know that running yards is going to be challenging, especially the way I'm seeing this field right now. It's a very, I mean, as you look at it, it's a very thick, the grass looks really thick and bushy, you know what I mean? Compared to, you know, when you see the field turf or everything's tight, I, I think it's going to be tough to be uh, really quick on the field. There's a play action, throws, come on, DK to the 40, first down, down at the 43-yard line of Tampa Bay, no flags, and that's good for another Seahawks, first down. Nice little in route that time, in breaking route from the left side. Little play action. Oh, and the, and the corner fell. He slipped again. Mario Gamer 2 and Royalty Family Fan. Thanks for subscribing. Here we go. Gino in the gun at the ball at the 43 yard line. Two receivers right and one left. Hand off to K9 along the left side. Trying to get through. He does, but only gets two yards as he's swallowed up by Hicks. Uh, they have that beefy front four. Uh, Vita Vea, former UW Husky, is a monster in the middle of the of the of the D line, so he's going to be something to contend with. Second down and eight coming up. Seven and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Gino under center this time. Triple tight end set on the right. Snap. He's going to pitch to Walker, trying to get the corner. Does not. In fact, he lost half a yard. Mm, this is a tough team to run against. That was with that tr- that uh, thirteen personnel, one running back, three tight ends, and they just they 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 love to run plays out of that where they just got three tight ends on the right side. Oh, and there's a flag, a late flag. They're saying maybe a crack back block that would send us back another ten yards. Right now, it's, it's third down and nine. Let's see what they say. No, it's after the play. Personal foul on us after the foul. That means it's a minus 15 and a loss of down because the play was already stopped. So now it's going to be third down and forever. That hurts big time. So now instead of third and 10, now it's going to be third and 25. Let's see what he does. 
Oh, he uh, he, he just knocked a linebacker down after the pretty much while the tackle was going on. So third and twenty-four. Jeez, what do you what do you what do you come up with third and twenty-four? Although we did get a third and twenty-two, I think last time. Gino on the gun, two receivers left. Lock it to the right. Fant on the tight end spot on the right side. Gino in the gun with Homer to his left. Snap. He's going to throw. Four-man rush. Throws to Parkins. Oh, sorry, that's Fant for about 15, but he's still going to be about eight yards short of the first down. So it's going to be fourth down and about eight. So this... The offense is going to stay on the field because they're too... They're too close to punt, and uh, probably too far for field goal range. It's in that kind of dead man zone where they're going to punt. What? They're not. The ball's at the 39-yard line. It would have been a 57, 56-yard field goal. Instead, they decide to kick it and try to play a field position game. Yeah, that penalty was brutal. 15-yarder. All right, here we go. Dixon to punt, standing at his own 46-yard line. He's got a clean snap here, guys. Pin him inside the 10. Wait, whistle blows. Oh, delay of game. So they'll mark it back five, give him a little bit more room to hit this thing inside the 10. Well, it's a slow start. This, might, this may be a very low-scoring game indeed. There's a lot of a lot of divots in the grass I can see already. A lot of chunks of uh, just like gaping gaps. Boom, here's the kick. He's going to try to pin it. And he's going to let it go. It's going to bounce at the 20. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Gets the, oh, and he touched it. So it's about the 10. Inside the 8 or around the 10-yard line. I thought it was touched, but I'm not sure. Uh, so there we go. So back and forth, back and forth we go in a uh, low scoring. Not a whole lot of uh, getting close to the end zone in this so far. All right. Let's check the sub count here. I got some videos set. Again, not just giveaways, but I got some special videos I put together just in case we get there. 939. So it's, it's uh, 50, no, 60. 61 61 to go we're so close 61 subscribers away from the big 50k Woo! i'm so excited um yeah keep it going in here you guys on the chat appreciate y'all's uh keep the conversation going uh who else we got here we got uh let me open up the mic here on the discord see who else we can chat remember if you want to uh be eligible for the drawing of the t-shirt and the other giveaways if once i hit fifty thousand subs um you gotta subscribe first and then join the discord and react by clicking the button on the giveaway channel so uh, that's the key for all of your subscribers norm or just the new ones uh, everybody. <laughs> but you gotta. Okay, because oh, I've been here a minute, so. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you've been here for a long time. But if you are gonna join, though, um, you got to. Uh, you do have to join the the Discord. Uh, you do have to click on the the React button in the giveaway channel because that's yeah. where the drive's coming from. So if you've already subscribed, yeah, the key is to go there to the uh, to the giveaway channel. Uh, that way you're entered. Because that's where we're gonna draw it from. Uh, I did subscribe you. I appreciate it, man. Right now, it says that there's only two entries. Uh, is that right? That must be a malfunction on my side. I don't know. I, I hope there's more than that. <laughs> that would be that would be pretty sad if there's like fifty thousand y'all and only two people entered the thing. But um, yeah, I'll be checking with the with the guys uh, during the break at at, at halftime to, to just see kind of where things are are at. They're kind of monitoring things over there. So uh, yeah, you're so, like. 10, 10 seconds ahead of me, so when the game starts for you, I have to leave because I don't want you to spoil nothing. Oh, okay. Well, it's <laughs> rare because I'm usually on the one who's way behind. Usually I'm the one who uh, everybody says, Norm, you're like 20 seconds behind the broadcast. All right, back to the action. Here we go. Let's go. 
So Tampa Bay with at their own 12-yard line. Handoff, running play. Ooh, knocked down after about a three-yard gain. Jordan Brooks and Michael Jackson <laughs> combined for the stop. It'll be second and seven coming up. With five minutes left in the first quarter. Oop. Speaking of broadcast, my, my NFL network just glitched up for a second. Boom! It's a big hit. Second and seven. Here we go. I want to see a sack. Like Tom Brady on his butt. Handoff of the middle. Oh, first down. Gain of about nine. Morgan Hayes, thanks for the sub. So that's the first, that's the first, first down. No, no. They've had uh, another. No, actually, that's the first, first down that they. Uh, no, no. They had that one big, uh, big pass play. Uh, yeah, big hole up the middle. Jeez. Could have drove, drove a truck through that thing, or at least a little car. Uh, first down, 10 Buccaneers at their own 23, 25-yard line. First and 10, I formation. Brady under center is going to hand off to the tailback. He cuts it back. He's wrapped up, but gains about four yards on the first down run. Second and six inside of four minutes now in the first quarter. Oh, Nick LeBeau says 60 entries so far. Thank you, Nick, for the update. All right, so it's working. We have more than two. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. I'll bring uh, one of you guys in uh, in Discord. And Nick LeBeau put the link in the description or in the chat again, just to remind people. Make sure you join to be in the give- giveaway. Play action. Brady swings it to Evans on the left side, and he's going to be tackled out of bounds short of the line to gain by about two. It's going to be third and short coming up here. It's a little play action and then throw back to the left. Third and one, actually, is what they say with uh, approaching three minutes left in the first quarter. No score. Mm, an uneasy feeling. I feel like a. it feels like a car that you're just trying to get started. Hey, we're past the 950 mark. 956 left. 44 subs to go to 50,000. Third and one. This could be a handoff. It's a pitch to the right. I don't know that play. Oh, but he got it anyway. I thought they were going to wrap him up on the outside, but <laughs> Jordan Brooks picked him up by his feet, and he had an alignment carrying his torso. It was like they were carrying a rug down the field. Eventually, he stopped his progress. They blew the whistle. But <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, you know, Michael Jackson had the outside contain, and he was going to make the play. I thought he was going to get it, and he just cut inside and made him whiff. And uh, that's why I wasn't able to make the, the stop. Nice move in there to, to avoid the loss. And a fourth down possession. Instead, it's a first and 10 at their own 41-yard line. Bucks on the move. Brady under center again. To a receiver on the other side. He's going to play action. He's going he's gonna to throw. He's got plenty of time. Looking now, he's... The trouble throws, swings it to his tight end. He gets tackled immediately after a gain of two yards. Bruce Irvin with the tackle, second and eight coming up as we are within two minutes left in the first quarter. Whew. Yeah, I've got a couple of videos I put that through together yesterday in celebration of approaching 50 here. Just to look back at the years of the different videos that I've made. was Probably going to show you guys at the half. Here we go. Hand off of the middle. Boom. Fournette for about six. Once again, it's going to be another third and short situation. Third and two as we approach the one-minute mark in the first quarter. 9.55. Look at that. It's been a long time. I've been hoping to hit 50 for a while. And maybe, maybe might finally be the day. Here we go. Third and two again. Can we get the stop this time? Brady will be under center as again. They got their own triple tight information. It's going to hand off. Go no! Broke free for net. Got past the first line. And for a second, I thought he was going to be off to the races. Quandre Diggs makes the tackle, but not until after he gains about six yards. It's going to be another first down for the Bucks. They got a nice little drive going here, mostly on the ground. Oh, that's a nice block in the middle there to open up the, the middle. Quandre Diggs, last man, last line of defense. 
they're saying Fournette had some passport issues, so he was late getting to the to Germany. Didn't travel with the team. This time, Brady handoff again up the middle. Oh, this time he's tackled immediately. Quinton Jefferson, I believe. Yep, Jefferson with the tackle, maybe a yard, and that is the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter uh, from Germany. The M- Money's 4K Goat. Thanks for subscribing. Let's see where things end up here. Stefan Phillips. Thanks for the sub. And remember, you guys, make sure after you subscribe, make sure you go to Discord and react to the giveaway channel. 960 right here. Let's look at... Uh, what do I want to look at here? Um, hmm. On this break here, let's go to the... Top game reactions. I think we have time for that. Here we go. Top 10 game reactions of all time. Here we go. my first ever North Camp video on the left and then we had double Tampa Bay Buck overtime games and here we are playing the Bucks again. 31 yard line. Mm. Yikes. Oh, that's a nice play. Nobody picked up Evans leaking out from the right side. They faked the they faked the bubble bubble scream and then then got uh Mike Evans just leaking out to the right sideline. First and ten. This drive is uh slowly, methodically working way down the field, but we gotta keep him out of the end zone. Snap. Brady hands off. No play action. Throws. Oh, that should have been intercepted. Jordan Brooks had it in his hands and he dropped it. Oh my God. That was pick six material right there. Oh man. It was right there. Actually, that would have been a tough catch. He just batted it down. He just kind of did a, that was like a volleyball block. That's a tough catch though. That ball at that, at that speed. It's a run, left side, nothing! Third down and 11 coming up here. I'm working on what you guys are talking about over there. On Discord, trying to get Wizards mod setting back. Ready to throw. Oh, God, he's going open. 20, 10, touchdown. I think, wait, I think our defender slipped. 
Jones with the touchdown. Yikes. Too easy. But I think I think we had a defender who fell down. I think that's what happened. Let's see what happened. He goes from the left side of the field to the right. Oh, no. Oh. He just let him go. Nobody carried him across to the right side. It's like the cornerback Woolen stayed on him and then let him, let him through, and nobody picked him up. Yikes, too easy. 6 nothing. Tampa Bay kick is good. So 7 nothing. Tampa Bay on top early. They draw first blood. Nope, oh, Seattle's got to respond. Uh, so Nick, you got to give me... Actually, just put in the chat or something. Uh, Wizards channel, because that's what I got to do to be able to add. I need the actual YouTube channel uh, for the mod. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go keep this going. Let's see. Where's the, where's the count at? We were at 964. Now we're at 964. All right. Uh, we've got Carol. Carolyn, two, uh, 206 in here. Carolyn, how you doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Turn my mics on. There we go. Carolyn, how's it going? Mic check one, two. Good yeah. morning. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, bright and early this morning. You're on the West Coast, right? Wait. So you're getting the 6.30 a.m.? Start I am, I am, I yeah. am. Nah, let's be honest. I'm usually up at this time. It's just a little tough. That's, I ain't military girl no I more. I was going to say, as a but military person, streaming. getting up by 6.30 is probably not a big deal. And you got a kid, so the, that means <laughs> sleep is uh, is not a luxury you probably have all the time. <laughs> Thanks for streaming so early. Let's go, oh, 50K. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Let's it's go. A, it's let's go. Let's go. I'm I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> not the start I wanted in the game, but it's early. We just got to get our stuff going and stop shooting ourselves in the foot. Uh, Literally, it's early. Yeah, very early. Let's see. We also Ignore. got Grim Reaper in here. Grim Reaper, what's going on? Grim Scott, no. Or this is Brian from uh, Boston. How are you, sir? Brian from Boston. Okay, and wow, you're a, you're a Seahawks fan. I'm originally from Spokane. Oh, okay, that's why. That's why. Okay, I'm very cool. From Washington. Spokane, Washington. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, oh. And I've been to Germany as well. I was stationed there for two and a half years. Really? You're like my dad. My dad. He didn't go there for military, but my dad went there during college as an exchange student and lived in Germany. So my dad returning there this past week has been kind of like a, you know, he was there like mid '60s. You know, back before he was married, back before I was born. So him returning to Germany for the first time in over 50 years uh, was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, if you remember me, I'm Bruiser1129. I participated in one of your videos way back when. Oh, Bruiser. Okay. Yeah, that is a yeah, while I back. I to you finally last week, too. So, well, Welcome back. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And by the way, tell your sister and father, Grüß Gott, uh, that means greetings from God. It's a greeting that they would say in uh, the very area. So oh, okay. you can pass it along. Grüß Gott. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to remember that. that. Grüß Gott. Griffin Owens, thanks for subscribing. All right, back to the game, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the chat and hang time. We'll get more of your calls in a little bit. Whew. Okay, time to respond. we got to play catch up now. And, and I've said before, guys, remember, boom, as the kick is made here, it's going to be short, taken by D. Eskridge at the 10, up to the 20, to the 25, and keeps going to his hit at about the 27-yard line. There's a flag? No. Adam Owens at the 26-yard line. Um, you know, I, I've said... Before and I've gotten a lot of flack for it, saying that you know I don't know if uh, Gino's a, a franchise quarterback until he can show to me that he can win a game in a comeback fashion, especially at the end of a half or end of the uh, uh, with two minutes left. And I said, maybe if this could be that game. Maybe this will be that game where he's going to have to do it from behind because Gino's great when he's got the lead because then they can run the football and he can just kind of manage things. And he did come from behind last week when they were down fourteen to ten. We'll see what happens here. Kenneth Walker with the handoff. Again, one yard only. Trying to dip and dash and dodge. and Tough to run against this defense. Second and nine. Oh, that was Julio Jones. I forgot that Julio was on this team. <laughs> Julio is always dangerous, but man, their, their offense has been so quiet. Slow start this year, but waking up today, just in time for us. Second and nine, Gino under center, motion lock it. It's going to play action. He's going to throw. Gino looking, looking. Now he has to scramble left. 
He's got room. He's going to run to the 30. Out of bounds at the 34-yard line. It'll be third down and about four as he gets out of bounds with 12.55 left in the first half. <sighs> Come on, I want to hit that first down button. 0 for 2 so far in third downs. Had that first drive was so good until they got the penalties and the delay of games. Third and two here is manageable. Two receivers left and right. Homer in the backfield, Gino in the gun. Will they rush four? Snap just before the clock expires. Gino rolls right. You can run it, Gino. Nope, he's going to have to throw. God dang it. Just run it. You had the room. Throws it at Lockett's feet. And it's incomplete. Fourth down. And we're going to have to kick again. Gino, just run it, man. You had the room. All you need is two yards. They had a blitz coming, but they picked it up. Yep, he could have run it. He could have run it. He tried to throw it to Lockett, but they're double covered. I mean, it wasn't even open. He had a better shot if he just run the ball than, rather than having to throw it to feet of Lockett. So here's another punt by Dixon. Try to pin him back and hopefully stop him this time. Here's the kick. Angling right sideline. Ball is going to be taken at the 14-yard line of a fair catch. So it's going to be with 12.05 left in the first half. Tampa Bay with a seven-point lead trying to add on. Yeah, this is a sloppy field. It's not like FedEx sloppy where it's just like garbage with like no grass in some areas, painted green. But it's a it's definitely a, a slip slidey, messy field. They need to have like really long cleats to have any kind of traction in this. But you assume that those equipment guys know what they're doing. Uh, all right, let's see. Who else we got here? Who haven't I talked to yet? How about uh, first, how about I open the mics up so I can actually hear you guys? That might help. Uh, how about uh, Iron Wolf or Nick H? Nick H, I heard you clear your throat. It means you're ready to talk. Nick H, what's up? <laughs> I was actually blocking a cough. But oh, okay. Well, you didn't nope. you didn't hit the cough button in time. Like, uh, uh, you're, you're from uh, Idaho, right? Yes, correct. That's right. All right. Well, what do you think so far? Is your How's your confidence know, in this it's... game? It's just sloppy. I mean, they can't. They're just going to have to change the way they do things. I mean, they can't get the run game going. Um, yeah, and that last play, dude, Gina should have just ran for the marker. It, you know, yeah. he had a wide, wide path to it. But. It looked like it, but yeah, I know it's um, running. Running is obviously going to be tough. And I said, if we can run 100 yards right now, we're lucky to get. <laughs> 15 yards yeah, the think, pace is going so I think Walker only has like 10 yards so yeah so it's gonna be tough but you know and and this this team is built where you know the balance is what's crucial you know being able to run the football and throw the football so you got to keep trying to do the run uh keep them honest because you don't want to turn one dimensional on these guys and and uh you know and, and of course you fall behind two scores potentially then now, then we get into that territory that I'm nervous about, where Gino's got to try to put the team on his shoulders and and try to throw him back into the game. That's not his to me. That's still not his his forte. So you don't want to get behind these exactly. guys. So we'll see. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's tough, but uh, it's early. You know, getting defense oh, yeah. stop. Who knows? Don't you know, if Jordan Brooks gets that turnover, you can get a pick somehow. You know, uh, all of a sudden this game can completely flip. So, a lot of things could happen yet, but we'll see. But Nick, thanks for joining the call. Appreciate it, man. Let's get one more in here. How about? Yeah, thank um, you, yeah, yeah. Keep hanging around. We're gonna be having some uh, fun throughout this morning. Seahawks fan fourteen. How about you, man? Hey, no, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. What do you think so far? Pretty good. I think Gino should have ran the ball. Yeah. But and with the way he's been playing, three yard gain for the Bucks. With the way he's been playing, with the way he's been playing, it kind of turned out like a good game. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes it, it, it Seattle's been really good, especially late in games to um, really. The fourth quarter, usually that's when Kenneth Walker gets hot. So we'll see if he can do it this time. Uh, but we just don't want to get too far behind. We're going to stay close. Keep the score close. 
Don't want to get two scores down to uh, Tampa Bay. That plays right into their strength. So right, here we go. Back to the game. Second and seven after a three-yard run. Brady to throw. Come on, screen. My NFL network locked up on me again. He's throwing. It's complete, I think. Night Spell, thanks for subscribing. I think it was a catch. It was. It was about a six-yard catch to Mike Evans on the left side. Third and two. Again, we get a lot of third and shorts here. We had a third and short. We can complete. Let's see if we can get a stop here and get off the field quick because our defense is probably a little gassed right now after that long drive and then going, going three and out. So they, they could really use a break and uh, they could help themselves out here and they get off the field. Don't want another long drive. Tire them out here. Third and two, and it looks like there's going to be a timeout on the field taken by who? Tampa Bay? Looks like Tampa Bay probably took a timeout. It looks like. I'm going to dial up the right play here. Let's see. Let's see where the sub count is. How close are we here? Nine, oh, my God. 972. We are only 18... No, 28. I can do math. 28, 28 away from 50,000 subscribers. We might just do it before the half. Oh, my goodness. History in the making. All right, here we go. Tampa Bay with the third and two at their own 22-yard line. Two receivers left. Two to the right. Snap. He's going to throw. Brady looks. Quick throw. Complete. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's complete. To Mike Evans for about four yards and another Tampa Bay first down. Ten and a half minutes left in the first half. That was quick. Brady gets rid of the ball so quickly. Yeah, that's a catch. He gets rid of it so quick. Oh, they got the wave going on back, by the way, out there. And uh, it's hard to sack him because he doesn't really sit there too long. Yep, they got the wave going. You know, the wave was starting in, starting in Washington back in the day, back in the, uh, I want to say it's a, was it the late 70s? All right, here's a run to Fournette, middle of the field, tackled after a gain of one. So there you go. Let's get stopped. Second down and nine yards to go as so we approach the 10-minute mark left in this game. Again, if you want to join and be entered in the Munich Game T-shirt contest like Sam Salem, who just did, you got to subscribe to my channel and then go to Discord where the link is on the description and in the top of the chat and then react to the giveaway channel. Hit the little party hat button in there and you'll be entered. So that's what the two things you got to do. Here we go. Second and nine from their own 28, 29 yard line. Snap. Brady to throw. Looking, 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 looking. Surveys crossing around. Ooh! Ah, Michael Jackson on the coverage, but he hit him too soon. Got on his back a little early and that's going to be a penalty, pass interference, and that's going to give him an automatic first down. About seven yards down the field. Darn it. <laughs> he wasn't a smooth criminal that time. Boom. Hit him too early. The way he makes me feel. He really hit him early. He knocked him off of his feet now, baby. Woo! All right, back to the first down at their own 32-yard line. Brady on the center. He's going to hand off to Fournette left side. Tackled for a gain of two. Second down and eight. Uh-oh. Metal push and shoving. Bruce Irvin getting into it with, uh, with number 41. Nine seventy six. Twenty four to go. Twenty four to go. Look at all those Seahawks fans out there. I can hear the Seahawks chant going on. All right, here we go. Inside of nine minutes now. It's, it's a low scoring, fast clock moving game. Snap. Hand off again to Fournette on the left side. Hit him. Uh oh. Oh no. First down. Jeez. Got like. 10 yards on the play. Approaching midfield. Man, see, I just can't get the run stop today. Boom. Boom. Good blocking. Boom. How about the 47-yard line? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's 
Snap. Hand off for net. Middle of the field. Churning his legs. Gets about three. Eight minutes left in the first half. We need a stop. And we need to we need to stop Brady when it's third down. Nine seventy eight, twenty two to go. All right, two receivers left snap. Hand off Fournette again. He's getting a lot of work here. Another two. Oh, geez. He just kept turning his feet. Got five yards on the play. Brooks is calling for a penalty. I think he thought he was held. It's going to be third down at about three. Ball at midfield. Fournette comes out for a breather. Third and three. Ball actually at the Seattle 49 yard line. Empty backfield. Brady in the gun. He's going to throw. They rush three. Drop everybody in coverage. Looking. Throws. God, he got it. Jeez. Kobe Bryant was all over him, but, but Miller got the catch. A little flare out on the left sideline, and he just got it in there. Brady is being vintage Brady right now. Oh, he did a little uh, zig route. Faked his way in, went out. And then he just put it right with a guy in his face. He just got it in there. Oh, and he caught the ball on his shoulder pad. Had it basically stuck right here. Boy, you can't cover it much better than that. But that was a great throw by Brady. Ball the first down the 46-yard line. He's going to throw. Throws, middle of the field. Complete to Mike Evans. Nope. Yeah, is that Evans? No, it's Godwin for his first catch. About 15, 17 yards down the field. Close to the 30-yard line. Oh, it's a nice soft spot in the zone to the 20s. I made the 28 yard line. Yep, to the 28. Jesus. We might get down two scores here. Definitely in field goal range already. Now we got to really keep him out of the end zone. Right now, just Bucks just methodically moving this ball down the field, mostly by the runs. And there's some very key, effective you know, passing plays by Brady. Snap. Brady's going to throw. He's looking, looking, throws deep, complete, wide open. Oh, man, he almost dropped it. It was Scott, It was uh, Miller. He jumped kind of unnecessarily, landed. Ball popped out of his chest for a second, but he caught it wide open. I don't know what's going on with the coverage right now, but everybody's down the field wide open. Oh, man, he almost dropped that football. He, he kind of made the play more difficult than it had to be. He, he he jumped really high to catch in his stomach instead of just using his hands. And then when he landed, the ball almost popped up in the air out of, out of his grasp. As it stands, first and goal at the five-yard line. Snap. Hand off for net. Oh, God, he's going in. Nope. Short at the one. Tackled by Boye Mafe to save the touchdown. But now it's second and one. They could do anything here. Brady could sneak it, give it to Fournette. I assume they'll pound it with Fournette here. They're about to go up two touchdowns. Kyle Sisk, thanks for the sub. Boy, we've got this game all wrong. So far, handoff, Fournette, touchdown. So, well, looks like this is going to be that game that I said Gino's going to have to prove it to me that he can take this team on his back and get back into it from behind because we are down 13 nothing. It's about to be 14 with the extra point to come. Four and a half minutes left in the first half. We need to get some points on the board here, even a field goal. Um, they don't want to go into the half with nothing. Now, Seattle, we'll get the football to start the uh, second half, but, man, we got to do something with it in this next four and a half minutes. Yikes! Ugly! Ugly, ugly! Buccaneers getting on track. This is like the Bucks. This is, this is what I expected when I first predicted this game that <laughs> we were going to lose kick is up and good 14 nothing. I had I had to you know, lose this game say oh we didn't have a chance but man right now we're just looking like not what we were up to this point so uh, yeah we got some work to do we got some work to do um, let's see we haven't I haven't talked to Iron Wolf yet Iron Wolf how you feeling Iron Wolf, you feel like talking? No? That's all right. How about you, Amanda? 
How's how's things? Amanda, you there? Uh, I had you down for a second because you were still ahead of me. Oh, oh, you had me at hello. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're about uh, ten seconds ahead of me too. Yeah, that's this weird. Not I, I, usually this not, not usually not ahead all. of people. Look at this. Right. Nineteen more to go. We might just make it. We might break fifty before the end of the first half. That's the race. That's <laughs> the game within the game. What's that? I said you will break fifty definitely today this morning. Oh, it's definitely going to happen. Now the question is: <laughs> Is it going to happen before the end of the half, or will it ha happen in the second half? I only nineteen more. It'll happen during the half. And we'll see. The Seahawks are this is not hard. good, though. What happened? Because you know the Bucks have been sucking, mm -hmm. and we have been doing so good. Like, is the time change and the flight messed us up? And what's going on? Because this does not look like. What what happened to our team? It's like the teams exchanged, they crossed the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean, and they exchanged identities. I don't, <laughs> get, I guess. I don't get what's going on with the coverage. I yeah, mean, the coverage they're leaving guys wide open down the field, so I don't know what's happening there. But I mean, guys are I know, wide open. Behind three defenders. I'm like, what? What's tough here is like this is this is Seattle style game. They want to be able to run the football and then score, on, you know, get big plays on play action. That's exactly what Brady's doing right now. And so the problem no, is Seattle can't run the we football. Haven't heard, we haven't even heard Nuosu's name yet. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. Nice. But but Brady's tough. But You're not going to sack Brady. He gets rid of the ball out. so quickly. Um, but yeah, we're just a couple yeah, of plays away from some extended drives. But you know, shot ourselves in the foot and. But yeah, they you know, there's a defense. Bruce Irvin having a powwow with the team to kind of rally the troops a little bit because the defense right now are not getting not getting off the field and they're going to be gassed. The problem right now is they're getting gassed. They're going to be tired. And the offense really needs to drive here just to you know give them a little bit of a break. But I Bruce Irvin is pissed. Bruce is fired up. He's motivated. All right, here's the kickoff. Well, I'll talk All to you guys right. in a bit. Eskridge, ooh, he has drilled hard at the twenty. And uh, knock down there. Okay, as you know, this is this is kind of what I've been saying. Can you can you be that guy? Can you get us back into a game when the lead is not yours? You know, and I and and when the running game isn't there to help you, can you help the running game by getting some throws in and leading us down the field? Here we go, Gino with the gun. This is a crucial drive here, kind of a get right, sort of get some momentum before the end of the half. Two receivers either side, snap. Gino's going to throw. They rush four. Good protection. Brockett breaks down. He's going to throw. Oh, here we go. Complete to Metcalf for nine to about the 30-yard line. He's going to be short of the line to gain. Second down and one coming up. It's a good play. That's what Metcalf's second uh, catch of the game. Hasn't... Uh, I think he's tar targeted Lockett once, but no receptions for Lockett. Tight ends, one catch maybe? It's been very quiet. Here we go. Two receivers right, one left. K-9 in the backfield. Do we, will we see a handoff? We will. K-9 up the middle, first down and more. He needed one, he got three, and that's good for another. Seahawks, first down. You know what's bad when I haven't pushed that first down button in like forever? You know, when this when this first down button finger gets like numb from not being used, you know that's not a good sign. I finally got to use it, but it's been way too dormant. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Seattle will receive the kick in the to start the second half. Here we go. And this is uh, Gino in that modified pistol formation. Snap. He's gonna throw. They rush four. He's got good protection. Looking, looking, looking. Throws. Oh, God, K-9 intended receiver in the middle as a check down. He dropped it in complete second and 10. Probably better than to catch it because if he did, he would have lost a yard. Oh, there's so much slipping. This is not a good field. I just I just saw a glimpse of, uh, of our left tackle uh, just trying to plant his feet. And it's... 
Second and ten. Two receivers to the right, to the left. Gino in the gun. Snap. He's going to throw. Looking, looking, looking. Got to throw it. Gino, throw it. Swings it to, Jesus, K-9 on the left, but completely missed him. Third and ten. What the heck? Where's our tight ends in all this? The tight ends are usually his go-to. Right now, he just looks completely discombobulated, doesn't know what to do. And he must have great coverage downfield because he just has nobody open downfield. He's had to go to the checkdowns, had to go to the you know the the escape round on the left. But what's happening down the field? Because it's the complete opposite. We have no, everybody's wide open for Tampa Bay, and, and Gio can't find anyone. Third and ten at their own thirty-three yard line. Need a first down here. Snap. They rush five throws left side. Oh God, that's incomplete. Intended for Metcalf. Incomplete. Another. Fourth down and long punting situation. So defense didn't get much of a rest. Could have been caught. It was a little bit, little bit long, but that's a uh, hard catchable ball. But couldn't haul it in. And Gino frustrated. Frustrating. St- frustrating starts set in. Fourteen nothing with three oh three left. Uh oh. Whistle it must have been a false start. Three minutes left in the half, so we'll be lucky to get this ball back. But they're, if they're going to do it, they got to do it quick and they got to do it. Uh, five yard penalty on a false start. How, how do you get a false start on a punt? <sighs> Man, I don't recognize this team. This is the offense we saw early. Um, early in the year Nash Vegas 126 thanks for the sub are we close 86 Dixon punts to the right side this time it's a nice kick down to the 10 get it out of bounds yes it rolls out at about this 43 yard line what a punt by Dixon MVP today right now Dixon just pinned it he made that thing bounce at about the 15 and it rolled down the sideline and out of bounds at the three yard line. A beautiful punt. You can't do it any better than that. Michael Dixon, you are the man. All right, timeout on the field. All right, let's go. All right, to the Discord we go. And let's see, who shall we talk to now? Let's see. Oh, first I got to recognize Taker610 says it's like our San Francisco game offense is back. Mm. That's true. I mean, when's the last time we got shut out in a half? I mean, I think you had to go back to the San Francisco game. Ugh, I always love San Francisco game because that was some ugliness. Oh, uh, man. To the Discord. Uh, let's see some new names in here. How about Otor? Otter? Otter is in the chat. The otter's got a picture of an otter, but he doesn't spell it like otter. There's the super chat talking about the San Francisco game, what it looks like so far. Um, nope, no otter. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, Shardall's back in here. Anthony D, or I should say AD is here. AD. AD. Long time. Sub AD. Hey, buddy. AD with this new haircut. Looking good, man. Are, are you sporting a mullet? Do you technically have a mullet going on now? I think you do. Yes, I do. It is. It's like it's like really short on the top, and he's got the, the long hair in the back. I wish I could show you what it looks like, but I don't have the picture readily at hand. But, yeah, the, it's got it going on. Bring back the mullet, baby. I remember I had a mullet a long time ago. I had the mullet with the tail. Do you guys remember when, when we'd have the tail? So I had the long hair oh here, and then the God, one yeah. little, little, little braided ponytail That's that came out of it that you could kind of like, it's like about six inches long. That, 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 that was the look. I need to bring that back. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't know if I have any pictures of that time. That was a that was a look for sure. Um, that is hilarious. Yeah, I wish I had a. I should have a photo somewhere. Look what's going on with this game, dude. I don't know, man. It's uh, it's quite perplexing. Like our offense can't get going. We can't run the football to save our lives. Our defense can't stop the run, and they can't 
defend Brady. Brady just keeps running the thing down the field, and he's going to try to do it again. All right, back to the game. Maybe they didn't get enough coffee this morning. All right, here we go. First and 10, deep in their own territory at their own four-yard line. Snap, handoff up the middle. Tackle him! There we go. There we go. Maybe a yard, nothing more. So if we can stop him here and get the ball in good field position, maybe I could set Gino up for a you know, a two-minute opportunity to try to score at the end of the half. That's the test. Second and nine. Come on, let's get a stop here. Fumble, something. Just a stop will be just fine. Keep him from getting a first down. I formation. Looks like a run formation, and it is. Hand off in the middle. Hit him! Hit him! There you go. Got two, maybe. And that's going to make it third and seven with two minutes. Actually, we're going to hit the two-minute warning right now. And it's the two-minute warning. All right. So with this timeout, um, actually, I want to I want to acknowledge. I, I posted this video yesterday, but I'm going to I'm going to play it again. So one of the one of my most avid supporters. I'm surprised he's not here. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that he's not actually here today. Um, uh, Tyler Parcher celebrated his 25th birthday yesterday. I posted a little video. He doesn't like to be sung to, so I couldn't do you know like a happy birthday song. But uh, I came up with something else. Uh, but real quick, I acknowledge since the light is telling me somebody's trying to contact you, Norb Sports Live in the ATL member of the Norb fam said, "Hey Norb, I'm on vacation in Tennessee." Elvis said, "Hello, dude, get it together, Seahawks. I'm pulling for you. Happy late." Birthday, Tyler Sleda from Sports David Sports Live in the ATL. Uh, yes, of course, rooting for us because he hates the Bucks with a passion. And so well, I'm trying to try to do him a good favor here. Also, Mister Potato Guy with the ten dollar dono super chat. He says we're gonna come back and get this win, get this dub. Norb and Kuya are legends. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Brotato Guy. Thanks for the super chat. And there it is right there. All right. I'm going to play this uh, happy birthday video that I put together for Tyler. Check it out. Four, three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing because I'm introducing my number one fan of social media. His first name's Tyler, last name's Parcher. He's gonna tell you what's for dinner. Who is he? With headphones on, he takes those walks. And then he'll hang out with his grandma. Don't matter what time or what is happening. You know he always asks for Madden. Yeah, today's his birthday, but yo, I ain't singing. Cause singing happy birthdays hit that pee, man. Don't ask me why, he's that kind of guy. Oh yeah, he don't like fireworks neither. So here's an engine startup to warm your heart up. And a birthday wish, Mr. Tyler. Cause when it comes to loyalty, he's Norm Cam Roy. I must say, bro, I appreciate you. Just birthday dance is your chance to do the bump. Mm. Tyler, do the birthday bump. Uh, do the birthday bump. Come on, man. Yeah. Do the do the birthday bump. Do uh, do the birthday bump. Yeah, with your grandma. I uh, do the birthday bump. 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 Happy birthday, Tyler. Now let's play some Madden. Psych. Just kidding. Maybe later. E. There you go. <laughs> I had a little fun with that one. Uh, happy birthday again, Tyler. Uh, I'm, I'm just surprised you're not here to get your reaction to all that. But he must be sleeping in. All right. Back to the game. Third and seven. Big opportunity. Brady to throw. Under pressure. Hey, look at that. We got to stop. No, no flags. Yes. Oh, no. Wait, what? Shelby Harris is pissed about something. What's he mad about? It's fourth down and seven. He's pissed about something. I think maybe he thought he got held in the in, in the end zone, like it would have been a safety. Either way, it's a stop. And now the test. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Geno Smith, two minute drill, trying to score when playing from behind, and he's going to get a perfect opportunity. He's going to get a good foot position here, kicking out of his own end zone. Snap. The kick goes to the right, angling right side. It's a pretty good kick. Damn. To the 30-yard line. Oh, he had to feel catch that? Damn, he booted the hell of that ball. He caught that thing at the 29, and DJ Dallas is kicking himself like, man, why did I call fair catch? I had room to run with that thing. 64-yard booming kick. I thought he'd be at midfield. Instead, we're at our 29. Man, he flipped the field on us so far, man. These punters are just kicking the heck out of the ball. 
All right. So well, here we go. Gino's got to go 71 yards in 149 with two timeouts. I think we have two timeouts. Yes, two timeouts. Can he do it? At least minimally. Got to get into field goal range. But we'd like, love to get a touchdown. All right. Here we go. How's the subscriber count doing? We got to be close. Still at 986. Come on, everybody. Get me to 50. I'm going to do this 50K celebration. 14 more to go. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Here we go. Gino in the gun, ball at the 30 yard line. Two receivers to the right, one left. Just lead the lone tight end on the right side. Gino takes the shotgun snap. He's looking. Four man rush. In trouble. Trouble. Down he goes. White with the sack up the middle. Loss of 10. Second down to 20. Jeez. I said negative plays. Can't have the negative plays. It was a blitz. A delayed blitz by the linebacker. Arcing around. And, oh, Kenneth Walker didn't see him. Nobody picked him up. That was a nice defensive call. Second and 20. Ouch. You got to get, uh, you just got to get a chunk of it back here. Can't get it all. Let's get a chunk of it. Snap. Gino the throw. Four man rush. She's looking. Throws. Yes! Complete for 18 to Goodwin. And now it's going to make it second, third down and two. We got to get the first down inside of a minute. Nice pass. It's got third and one, actually. Here we go. Get the first down. Inside, 50 seconds now. Snap, hand off to Walker. Oh, God, he's not going to get there. Jeez, he lost four yards. And we got the punt. Well, so far, my Gino two-minute drill went behind. He is yet to do it. God, there's no hole. It's like he ran up against the dam, stopped, and just... Mm, there was no hole. And they tried to bounce it outside, and they just lost yards. Jeez. <sighs> Horrible. There's a lot of empty seats up on the upper level, unless they all went to the bathroom. Or... God dang it. Oh, we're going to have to make some major adjustments because right now, Tampa Bay, with the exception of that last drive that we stopped them deep in their own territory, we haven't done squat. It's all punts. Fifth punt of the, of the, of the game for us. I haven't seen this in a long time. Kick. Angling left. It's going to be out of bounds at the... Oh, what a beautiful play. Stop it. At the two-yard line. Another beautiful punt by Michael Dixon. MVP! 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 28 seconds left. I'm, I'm guessing that Tampa Bay will probably be okay with just having a 14-point lead into the half and not trying to do anything stupid to give Seattle the ball. So I think they'll play it safe here and not try to, you know, do some kind of crazy push down the field. I wouldn't. It's like, why would you do something where you risk a sack or fumble or a, an interception and give us the ball deep in their territory? They'll just take a knee or something. And they do. So Seattle could call a timeout, but I guess they will. So they'll call one timeout. Then they'll run a second play. I don't know. It's pointless because they'll have enough downs to exhaust the clock so no point really in calling a timeout really if they had three that'd be one thing but two not much they're doing German words in uh, English to German translations Hey, blitz is blitz. <laughs> That's the one thing that doesn't change. Let's see where we are with the sub count. And there's a second knee. They'll call another timeout. Oh, 49992. Eight subs away from 50, you guys. Can we do it in this? Before the second half starts, maybe during halftime. 
again, if you got if you want to be entered for the jersey or the t-shirt and the Norm Cam hoodie, this could be yours. And this could be yours also. All you got to do, and there's the third knee, the clock will expire, and we'll be at the half. All right, 14 nothing Tampa Bay, but Seattle will get the ball to uh, start the second half after the halftime festivities are over. And there's uh, Tyler Parcher finally joining us. Good morning, sunshine. Tyler Parcher finally joining us from, from the ranks of the sleepyheads. Where were you earlier oh today? God. I, I played well, your birthday I'm, video and you weren't even here to see it. He was asleep. Well, well we can play it again. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I do have some other videos to play. Plus, um, I have some like copyrighted music on that one, so I might flag the uh, the the uh, YouTube police. So I don't want to take too many chances with that. So. Uh, maybe, but, maybe play it after maybe those yeah, videos. Maybe we'll see. Okay. I mean, everybody, you know, the important thing you've seen it already. I mean, I put on your thing yesterday, and yeah, everybody saw it. So the whole sure. world has seen the birthday video for Tyler Parcher, the birthday bump. Yeah. Hey, happy birthday yeah. again. Where were you? <laughs> Sleeping in? What's wrong with you? Hey, playing yeah, too much I'll Xbox last night. Time to get up and watch Norm. <laughs> Did you just wake up? Seriously, you just wake up? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I woke up earlier. I was watching Next Door on my big TV for a while, and I have my Xbox Series S now, finally. Yeah, so I heard. Congratulations. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. So uh, what I want to do is I know I got to bring in uh, one of the guys uh, who's going to talk about uh, one of the contests. We got Roshi in here. Roshi is actually one of the guys on Discord who's helping run this uh, contest. He's going to be helping me get the, the names to the finalists when we do the drawing. We're not quite there yet. We're at 49... Ah, we did it! 50,000 subs! Woo! Oh my word! Congratulations, buddy. Holy catfish! Yes! I, we did it! Thank you, guys! 50,000 just in the nick of time. Perfectly executed right at the start of halftime. Thank you so much, you guys. So awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. I've been trying to get here for, uh, feels like years. Been stuck in this 48, 49 range forever. Think I'm never going to get past here. And you guys made it happen. So thank you. Thank you for getting me to uh, 50,000. I mean, it's, uh, it's exciting. My six little guy, 06. Thanks for subscribing. So what I want to do is I want to bring in Roshi. Uh, since uh, he's helping coordinate the names, he's going to help ex further explain and also whoa, talk about whoa, some of the other things they got going on in Discord. So, Roshi, um, are you there? Oh, uh, yes, I am. So, Roshi, um, so first, I want to make sure everybody's clear exactly what they need to do uh, to enter. Now that we've hit 50, uh, we're still taking... So don't stop subscribing. The main thing is, is you got still to be entered. Subscribe, and then you got to go to the, uh, um, the giveaway channel so you guys can... Wonder you can win this sucker. So let's talk about how they do that. Am I describing it right that they go to Discord and then they got to go to the giveaway channel and they have to hit that little party button? Is that right? Yes. Okay. And yes. what are we up to now? How many people have been entered so far? I'm 73. 73. Just 73. So the odds are pretty good. A lot better than winning that $1.9 billion lottery, which I think you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning twice. Oh. Uh, one in 73 is a little bit better odds <laughs> of winning. But if you got to be entered in the winning. Discord to be entered in the contest, all right? So you got to make sure you go to Discord and hit that React button in the giveaway channel to be entered. So what's going to uh, happen here is once we call it, done and i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait to the end of the game when the game is officially over we'll cut off entries then so you can you can enter still between now and the end of the game when the game is over then we're gonna have uh 10 people drawn by the computer to get the 10 finalists and then those 10 finalists will be sent to me roshi will send those names to me and then i'll actually do a spin the wheel uh last person standing and whoever the last one of the 10 is left will be the winner did i describe that right roshi um, yes. So, yeah, okay. so the, the boss going to draw 10, then we'll do an email, then we spin to see who's left. Yeah. All right, there we go. So, that, that's how we're going to do it. So, keep keep subbing and keep um, entering if you haven't done it yet, so you can be entered into the into the spot. And Seahawks Martin, you're right. Next stop is 100K. Halfway there, you know, one at a time. Um, so, Roshi, <laughs> there's some other stuff you want to talk about. You have, uh, so, if you don't know Discord, you know, I'm no Discord expert, Ro Roshi is. So, he's going to talk about some of the cool things you can do there. Besides chatting up, besides having engagement like this, they actually have uh, 
uh, a lot of uh, contests and games within there that you can win uh, certain things. So everything from you know fantasy football, uh, uh, other sport uh, competitions, but they're doing one special for the World Cup. And Roche, you're going to talk about that, right? Yeah. So okay, um, go for it. Also, one more thing. Recently, recently we just concluded. Um, excuse me. We just recently concluded. Um, an MLB play up prediction contest. So um, that concluded like a few weeks ago. At least not like a like a week ago mm-hmm. when the uh, World Series ended. So we did something for that. Now we're doing something for the World Cup. So basically, it's like a prediction contest. So um, if you go to the Discord, you go to like the first channel above Norp Chat. It's like FIFA World Cup Challenge. Um, we've explained all the rules and everything and the pin messages there. So you just need to click on like that little thumbtack at the top to um, see all like the rules and stuff. And um, yeah, so we've given like instructions for like how you're supposed to do everything. And um, yeah, all you have to do is just follow the rules, make sure that you get submissions in by the beginning of the first match, which is like next Sunday. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah. Right, That's and, pretty much it. And, and what does the, what, what's at stake? What's the, what does the winner get at the um, end of the So we're thinking just like a special role or maybe even some additional prize because this is like a bigger thing, obviously. Like this is something yeah. that happens every four years. Right. Rather than just like every year. And uh, obviously, there's like the world's biggest competition around just like the USA. So there might be a little bit more at stake if you win. Yeah. But we'll decide on that okay. later. All right. So, so jump in there before that first match uh, happens. Uh, get in there for the World Cup prediction contest on Discord. So just one of many things that the guys on Discord do to, to keep things entertained. Um throughout the year not just football not just seahawks not just stuff with me but uh, other sports and events as well so it's a fun place so so uh, make sure you go check it out while you're in there just take a little tour and, and, and look around anything else you want to uh, make sure that they know about um no that's it just that's keep it. on subscribing that's it all right there you go all right so we will check in with roshi at the end of the game we'll get all the final names and then we'll do the giveaway so remember please Continue to sub and uh, hit, uh, join oh, the Discord God. and hit that giveaway channel. So what I want to do is now that we hit 50, I said I had a couple of videos that I put together. So I want to continue with the reaction. I think we got through the first four, maybe. So I want to continue with that and uh, show the, re- the remaining game reaction uh, top tens here while in celebration of 50,000. Again, thank you guys for, yes. for making this happen. So here we go. Continuing where we left Hello. off from. The, we were at number six. So now the, the remaining... I think five more to go. Here we go. This is the, the 2019 wide right game. Now the pick six by Cam Chancellor. The NFC Divisional Championship. Of the divisional game in 2014. The MC they got boom. Oh, Super Bowl 48. Harvin. Oh, the Harvin kickoff return. Go, Harvin, go. Go. He's gone. He's gone. There he goes. He's gone. Harvin is gone. Harvin is gone. Number three. Oh my God! Oh my God! He got it! We won't show what happens after this. <coughs> There's the picture from AP. That's the picture that made around the world right there. Right there. Let's go. Another miracle. Are you kidding me? Another miracle. And of course, the Sherman tip in the FC Championship of 2013. The 
And you know what number one's gonna be. There's one of the greatest games ever played. That's when I thought this play couldn't, couldn't, nothing could top this play. One year later, this happens. Yeah, on ESPN, nonetheless. Wilson takes the snap, drops back. He's going to throw down the middle. He's got it. He's got a man. Come on, it's caught, Dave O'Neill. Oh, Touchdown. Oh, the game is over. The Seahawks are going back to the Super Bowl. Get to be in the building to watch that. You know, like that historic, that historic miracle of a game that we should never have won, statistically speaking. We won that to go to the Super Bowl again. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. And to make it onto Sports Center. As a news story, that only made it that much more awesome. The fact that besides getting that game win in a come from behind fashion to go to the Super Bowl for the second time and to then be featured in an ESPN story about it was a moment I'll never ever forget. Uh, such a great story. I was just so sad what happened at the Super Bowl. After that. But um, nonetheless, there were, that was the top 10 uh, reactions um, of all time. And I've been doing a lot of them, but uh, that was tough to come up with the list. But th- those were the top 10 right there. Uh, a lot of great experiences, both at home and away. And uh, it's it's been great. And I'm hoping maybe today, maybe today we'll have one of those, oh my God, reactions. If Gino can pull off some kind of miracle here to uh, get back from Hopefully. being down um, two Noah touchdowns Bravo in, in this game. Too. It's not That's over. Cool. Got plenty of football left, but they're going to have to turn around real quick. 50,014. Let's keep it going. And again, enter the uh, the, the contest. Uh, make sure you subscribe and then hit that uh, react button in the, the giveaway okay. channel of Discord. So I did put together one of the video I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, it's the best of rivals. I literally was up till like two in the morning. I don't know why I was doing this. Two oh. in the morning uh, preparing this. So I got to show it. Otherwise, it'd be like, why did I stay up late doing this? So the you best of rivals. I try to put the best clips of the rivals videos I've done over the years. And a lot of you have seen these, but maybe if you haven't, here's a little sneak peek in some of the my favorite videos I've done uh, over the last ten years. And real quick to Lucas and Coop. Thanks for subscribing. Here you go. The best of rivals. Check it out. <laughs> That's the first one we shot. We shot three of them in here. Mike Lorraine, 80s Broncos fan. There's Dino Moore. The Matrix shot. Mike spent 15 hours working on that shot. Lots of visual effects going on that you don't notice. Matrix! <laughs> this was so much fun. It was hot as hell that day, but it was so much fun to shoot. Especially this part. Six hundred frames per second, super slow mo. What if the guy comes up in the division? <laughs> This is the prep for Super Bowl 49. In Russ, we trust. He's overpaid, overrated. Don't say it. And he sucks. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, I think something's wrong with my gun. Uh, yeah, me too. What is a Seahawk fan like you doing in my jungle? Take this! Ow. And that! Ow. Ow. Stop it! 
I'm gonna cook you, then we're gonna eat you, feel the wrath of the Cincinnati Bengals! Ah! Yeah, baby. I like that movie. Duck! Cassidy Quinn. Superhero. Oh, is that back from half already? Oh, I gotta freeze it. We're back to the game already. Jeez. That was quick. All right. Well, it's kickoff. <laughs> back to the game. That was a quick halftime. All right. Here we go. Seattle okay. receives. Touchback. So, Gino, what you got, man? 14 nothing. You're going to have to try to bring us back from behind. Wow, there's like way empty seats up there. Is everybody just out I'm, uh, eating or smoking or what? Like the entire upper part of the bowl was empty. Wow, it's fascinating. All right, here we go. Gino and the gun. Two receivers left, one right. Let's see what kind of drive we can get to start off this second half. We need to set the tone here. Throws complete. There we go. Go, go, Jesse. For the first down and more. 13 yards for a Seattle. <laughs> First down. That's a good start. All right, here we go. Gino with the gun again. Lockett goes motion from right to left. He's going to throw complete to Disley again. Another 14-yard play and another Seahawks first down. Now, that's what we were looking for. Get the ball to your tight ends. We didn't barely target our tight ends in that uh, earlier one. I think this might be a game of throw to set up the run because they knew we wanted to run, and they stopped us cold. So maybe this will loosen things up a little bit. Maybe they'll hand off to Walker here with trips right, one left. Nope, he's going to throw again. Hits quick. To, this time to DK. He's going to get up. First down. 11 yards. Ooh, three straight first downs. That's my fingers getting a workout. Another Seahawks. First down. Woo, three in a row. Now, talk about a hot start. I like it. Metcalf just... He was like three yards short of the line. He just said, you want to try to stop me? Go for it. And he just plowed ahead. Now in the 35-yard line of the Bucks, just like that. In a minute and a half, two receivers to the right, one to the left. Gino in the gun. Snap. He's looking, 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 looking. Throws this time. He hits. Lock it. <clears throat> he gets another Seahawks first down. 11 yards. Man, four passes, four first downs. Uh-oh, what's this? Metcalf looks pissed about something. Ball at the 24-yard line. Wow, exploding out. Here we go. Gino's going to throw. He's pump fakes. He's going to run. Oh, he gets hit hard after a gain of about two, second and eight. I don't know if that play was designed. It looked like he wanted to throw, but then he just started... Then he followed... Yeah, I think it was supposed to be a quick throw, and it wasn't there. So then Gino just kept it and followed the lead of Kenneth Walker. Got sandwiched there, but got a couple yards out of the play. Sec on one yard, second and nine. Here we go. Ball to 22-yard line, second and nine. Gino in the gun, three receivers right, one left, two left. Gino takes a low snap, looking, throws to the left side, near side. Oh, intended for Parkinson, but he was out of bounds. No chance, really, third and nine. All of a sudden, things have cooled down here. Started out hot, and now two, uh, two plays that haven't amounted to much. He, he, wanted, he wanted to go down the field, but uh, it was, uh, no, wasn't open, so he went to his progressions. Big play here. Third and nine. Ball to 22-yard line. Three receivers right. One to the left. And that's Metcalf. Gino and the motion fant to the inside. Snap it! Snap! Just in time. Throws deep to DK. 
Oh, it's a complete, my God. Wanted the back shoulder and incomplete. Missed it. Damn. Mm, he needed to get him more on his back shoulder. Nope, he needed to throw enough on the back. And DK was looking for a pass interference too, but didn't get it. So we're going to have to go for a field goal attempt of 40 yards. The drive was so what? hot, and then it just got cold. What the ball? Wait, there's a flag. Oh, it's on the Bucks. God, it's on DK. That's going to take us out of field goal range. Is it holding? Oh, yeah. DK was yapping to the officials too much. They called him on it. And basically, it's one of those penalties that if you get another one, he gets kicked out of the game. So he's got one warning. So instead of 40 yard kick, it's now a 55 yard kick. They're not going to do that. So they're going to have to, the punter, go for it. But you can't go for it because it's going to be like fourth down at 25. They're probably going to have to punt. They're, oh, they are going for it. 55 yards. Jeez. Okay, 55-yard field goal attempt. Snap, hold, kick. That looks good. Oh, and it is. Jason Myers, 55-yard kick is good. And he got on. They see at least gets on the board. 14 to three. We'll take it. But man, the kickers right now. The special teams unit is owning this game because. Everybody else is not exactly pulling their weight. But that was a good drive by Gino to get at least into um, Tampa Bay territory. But we're on the board. We need to get points, and we did. Oh, so it's what a, are we making? Uh, good start in that regard. Oh, to the Discord. Actually, you guys have been hot oh, this whole time. Alley, we'll see. Uh, okay, Discord, you guys. What's going on? All right, uh, at least we got points. We do have points here. I think everybody's um, actually unmuted, if you guys, uh, except for Iron Wolf. Um, well... We got points. That was the important thing. Um, yes, very much so. It was too bad that we missed an opportunity to keep that drive going. Oh, Let's put seven on the board. But now our defense is going to have to rise up and uh, try to get a stop here. So um, far, we've made a good, a good adjustment. Uh, yeah, they started throwing to the tight ends. Uh, still not really running the football. Had to do it through the air, but that's kind of what we were kind of seeing. Can Gino do it? <clears throat> at least they were getting some first downs, and they got at least three points. So, what did Metcalf do or say to the judge? What happened? I don't. Well, unsportsmanlike conduct. I don't know exactly what he did, but you know, obviously they weren't showing him on the broadcast the entire time. He was definitely upset at the officials. I think maybe it was a passing yeah. first call that he thought he uh, wanted to get, but didn't get so maybe he maybe he uh yapped uh oh, flapped his lips a little, a little too much. much but luckily jason myers still was able to hit it from 55 that's a pretty impressive feat so yeah. um yeah so now the defense has got to show up had a good rest there a good drive to kind of get more wind and uh, this definitely gives our defense a breather yeah well yeah, it's they good they had the that half to break. has never left the states this is the first time he's been out of the States. Yeah, that's true. Probably first time he gets his passport and all that stuff. I, th I think for a lot of guys, it's he's not the only one. I think there's a lot of pe other people who uh, have uh, also uh, first I time. I think the only country. one who hasn't is Tyler. Tyler Lockett is the only other person who has. No, he's been out of the country because he went to London. <laughs> in this yeah, game. In this game. Yeah. Pretty sure Tyler Lockett was there. Oh, here we go. They're showing Metcalf now talking. He must have. He's pointing at the ref. Oh, that's what it was. He was pointing at him. And anyway, all right. Well, back to the game. Back to the game. Oh, all right. Really point. Here's the kick. Boom. It's gonna be short. Taken at the seven. Ten to the fifteen. Twenty to the numbers. Twenty-five. Tim, ooh, good return out to the twenty-nine yard line. Ball comes out late, but it's he's down by contact. So DK, DK pointed at the ref and he, whatever he said, he directed it at the ref, pointed at him. That's what got him the flag. 
It's a good thing that didn't cause the field goal, you know, to take the field goal away. So, but DK, you know, DK's been pretty good this year, not letting his, you know, antics be an issue. You almost forgot about it. But today has been, you know, today's he's kind of showed up like we've seen from like two years ago. Here we go. Tampa Bay with the ball to 29. Snap. Handoff up the middle, tackled immediately by, well, we actually ended up getting two out of the play. Shelby Harris and, and uh, Jordan Brooks combined to make the stop. Second down and eight. Second and seven. They got three on the play. Ball at the 31 yard line. <sighs> okay, here we go. Brady in the gun. Two receivers to the left. Tight ends on the or I see on the right, two times on the left snap. Brady to throw. Looking throws. Complete to Evans for about six. Hit immediately by <laughs> Michael Jackson. Third down and four coming up. Oh, wait, what? Third and two. Oh, the game of benefit of the forward progress. Third and two. Oh, how I'd love to see a stop right now. Now the crowd's filtered back in. Man, they really emptied earlier. That's like there was a whole empty section. Seahawks chant. Going inside the stadium right now. That's third and three. See, I knew it wasn't four. It wasn't two. They say third and two. That's three yards. Snap. Throws quick, complete to um, Julio Jones. Needed three. Got about five for the first down. Ten and a half minutes left. 14 to three. It's just an easy out route. All right, come on, D. We got to get off the field. Let's go. Get this ball back. 10 13 left in the third quarter. Oh, it's a direct snap to Fournette. And he's going to. How'd he get through? He gets two. Stopped right there. Second and eight. Direct snap to Fournette. No, Brady was actually split left. That's funny. He's not even... <laughs> Brady was split out by himself. Nobody covered him. If they actually threw a pass to him, that would have been actually kind of funny. Uh, second and eight, ball at the 43-yard line. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Snap. Hand off. Oh, no, so you missed him. Dang it! You had him in the backfield, and now he got uh, seven yards on the play. It's going to be third and short. Third and about a yard. Oh, and also had him in the backfield, and he couldn't wrap him up. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. This game's going by fast. Again, if you guys want to... Be entered for the German t-shirt giveaway, official Munich game t-shirt. Make sure you subscribe. Ah, first down. Gets three. He needed one. They got three. First down again into Seattle territory, I think. Um, I'm going to put that link for the Discord. And uh, just so that it's there again. It's pinned at the top of the chat, but here it is again in the chat. There you go. There's the link again for Discord. Man, they're so good on third down today. It's been mostly third and shorts, like third and two, third and three, third and one. First and 10, Seattle Territory at the 48-yard line. Snap. Brady play action. Uh-oh. Complete to the tight end. Gain of eight. Number 88 with the catch. Second and two. Man. Yeah, why? Why did why did the Bucks have to get back to their normal good playing games today? Why couldn't they like suck one more week and then get it next week? Second and two, seven and a half minutes left in the third quarter, forty yard line, almost in field goal range. 
We really need a turnover here, a sack, something negative. Snap. Brady throw, throws, turn around! Jesus, complete in front of Tariq Woolen, a back shoulder fade. <sighs> That's a good throw. That's a good play. It's a good catch. About 15 yards and a first down. Mike Evans, just perfect throw. Threw it nice and high. That's what that's what DK needed on the previous one to get it down near the near the goal line. Needed to be back shoulder up here. No one could get it. And he didn't quite get on the right spot. First and ten. Six forty left in the third quarter. Ball the twenty two yard line. Oh, direct snap again to Fournette. It's gonna throw to Brady. Intercepted by intercepted by Tariq Woolen. <laughs> well, that was a dumbass play. They wanted to throw to Brady. It was the same play. Remember I said earlier they left they left Brady open? So this time they did a direct snap to, to Fournette. He faked the run, threw back to Brady. Brady fell down, and Tariq Wall was the only guy left to, to, uh, to catch the football. And there's a flag, a late flag. I think Brady might be called for tripping. It is tripping. Brady tripped. Brady was tripping. Tariq Woolen. He couldn't make the tackle, so he just stuck his legs out to trip him up. So the drive ends. I said we needed a big play, right? A sack, a negative play, a turnover. Well, we got the turnover on the what a dumb play. Oh yeah, Brady just threw his legs out like karate chop style. Uh, to knock Woolen down. Which is probably smart because who knows how far Woolen could have gone if he could have kept going. So all right, so a huge play there. Huge turn of in. I'll see if we can see how it can capitalize. We needed a break like that. What a dumb play. I mean, you guys were had everything going for you. You had to go run that stupid play. I'm glad you did it, but geez, Tampa Bay. All right. Oh, and all, and the flags on the... Why is it on us? No, no. It's a flag on uh, <laughs> Tampa Bay on uh, Tom Brady oh. for tripping. I forgot you're behind. Sure, uh, guess what I have next door okay. now. My yeah. mom brought this over for me. Oh, yeah. He freaking made it. What? Uh, what? Why was hey, Tom Peter. trying to catch a ball? Oh, I see that. Well, you know why? Because uh, Tom Brady was left wide open the first time. And I think they were thinking, oh. well, if he's wide open, maybe he could throw to him. And they kind of didn't cover him. But then Woolen just sort of, when they saw it happen, he then quickly retreated, got there. And got Brady there. fell down. Uh, did not look very athletic. He looked very. He looked all of his forty-five years old there on that play. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, looked, that would have been that would have been me running down the field, <laughs> slipping on myself. Whoa! So that was that was great. That's what we She'll needed. Not to leave it plugged in when I leave the next door, or we'll have problems. Yeah. What was that? My mom gave me one rule before I leave to turn unplug the, the heater. Oh yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to leave heaters on. That's uh. That's how fires started. That's how fires yep. get started. Un yeah, unattended yeah, heaters. Because it's cold over here. Especially baseboard today, heaters you know. when you have curtains. <laughs> curtains over baseboard heaters. Those are the worst. Cause Ooh, like, yeah. <laughs> and then. Woo, woo, yeah, that's why I'm just hanging out next door with it on for a while. Dead no fun. Uh, hey, yo, and AD, what's up? Are we getting penalized for the tipping or not? No, no, no. That was that was a penalty on, on Tom Brady for tripping our guy. So they're going to be 15 okay. yards our direction. So that's good for us. They'll put the ball at about the 35-yard line, something like that. So that worked out pretty good. Carolyn, what's going on over there? Oh, she's muted still. Hey, what's up? She's hey muted. finally, oh, no. something good. Something good happened for us. <laughs> I know. I'm just hoping this, uh, you know, will catch momentum. Yeah. Um, just about a minute ago, I was saying, man, they figure it out usually in, you know, the second half. I'm like, oh, she's already in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But so far, so far it's going, it's going our way. So let's see if we can keep it going our way. All right, back to the game. Seattle, well, no, they, did, they didn't get penalty yardage. So Gino's going to throw. He's looking, looking, looking. Pump fakes. He's going to run. Nice. He gets about six and slides down. Oh, is there a late flag? Oh, I guess there was a penalty because he was tackled the five-yard line. Boy, man. Uh, 
Oh, penalty on the defense. After Geno slid, I think he got hit. And he gets 15 yards to on top of that. So that's an automatic. First down. So that's going to put the ball out probably close to the 40-yard line. Boom. Oh, I see. Yeah, he kind of crunched him. Crunched Geno. The uh, the defender pursuing kind of hit him in the head. Really kind of squished his head. He like pushed him, like did CPR on his head on the way down. All right, here we go. First and 10, ball at the Seattle 35-yard line. Geno in the gun. Snap. Throws complete to Fant on the right side. Hey, and he gets 11 yards and another Seahawks first down. Thomas, the NFL Fanatic 2010, thanks for subscribing. Make sure you guys visit the Discord so you can be entered in for the drawing. Step one, subscribe. Step two, join the Discord. Discord. And step three, hit that giveaway react button. Empty backfield this time. Gino on the gun. 46-yard line. Snap. They rush five. Throws quick. This time to DK. Bang! He gets 11 yards and another Seahawks first down. I love this tempo right now. Seattle is just moving, throwing quick. They've kind of abandoned the run game, <laughs> which I can't argue with that because it hasn't been working. I'm sure that as they continue to throw the ball, they'll they'll find some opportunities to run it when they loosen up the middle. But I, right, now it's empty backfield again. Gino to throw. Looking, throws. This time to Walker. Make a move, Walker. Oh, a little spin move. Fakes the move inside, spins outside, and he gets five on the play. Second and five. Second and four. I got six actually on the play. Seattle's trying to get their way back into this game. 14 to three. Tampa Bay had an opportunity to, to, to get their lead back, but blew it with that turnover. And now play action. Gino to throw. Lots of time. Throws deep left side. Complete to Metcalf for about 20 yards. And that's good for another Seahawks. First down into Tampa Bay territory. At the 20-21 yard line, Seattle on the move. This time three receivers right. This is a handoff to K-9. Tries to go up the middle. He does. Gets about four yards. Second down and six coming up. Inside of close to four minutes left in the third quarter. Boy, what a chain of, change of a turn of events after that turnover. It was going all... all uh, uh-oh. We've got an injury to our left... Tackle. Oh no. I think that's our rookie left tackle. No, it's our it's our guard. Is that Damian Lewis? Hmm. Timeout for the injury. Hmm. Mm mm mm. All right, back to the Discord chat. Yeah, we can. If we can score, me. it'll if we be a totally score. different ball. Oh, yeah. Well, that that, that that totally turned the momentum uh, to go from down. Yeah. You know, potentially they, they could have put it back freaking. to a two touchdown lead again with a field goal. They were in field goal range. That turnover, yeah, you know, that might good. be a 10 point swing right here. If we can score a touchdown here, uh, that's a huge, huge play, and it, it makes us a completely different ball game. Um, Norb, I went back in in the in the YouTube clip of, and I saw it, and I also saw your mom and your dad and sister on the live chat. Yeah, I was uh, I was connecting with them inside the stadium before the game started on Zoom. We're we gonna connect with them after the game during this too. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to just to see the and reaction. Maybe, uh, have us be on there when when it happens. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try to do it uh, when the uh, game is. Uh, uh, kind of Man, even oh, if sorry I, for the scoreboard mess up. Beverage, Here's the scoreboard. I'm plugging anyways too. This thing. Oh yeah. There we go. For There's sure. the scoreboard. Sorry, I, my I'm scoreboard was messed it. up. 14 to three with 421 left in it, the I'll third quarter. If, I, if, I, if it does. All right. So. Mm. See, look at oh, it. Richard it Wynn. Richard, how's it going, man? It's always good to see you in here too. It's warm. It's not really that warm, but it's. Yeah, I can feel it. I have a blanket there for. That's Richard. Yeah, I have a blanket right there. Oh, wait. 
Hold on. Flip it around here. Like it right here. Coach Mesh, Luke Duke, AD, yeah. hey, Otter, Shardall. The usual suspects all hanging out in there. And I hope this isn't a serious injury. He was sitting up. But it's going to be probably some kind of a leg injury. Well, we'll be able to play uh, GTA together now, now, now that I have the Series S. <laughs> nice. Uh-oh, Norm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, know, I haven't touched my GTA. I haven't touched any Xbox in a long time. It's just been that kind of... Uh, We're going to do some Madden soon, I hope, right? Uh, hopefully. I just... Man, I just have not had a chance to uh, get in there. How was the volleyball and, uh, tournament? How did we do? Uh, it kind of sucked, actually. Not good. <laughs> We lost two so straight, and they're done. So I'll talk more about it later. All right, back wow. to the game. Second and six. Gino to throw. Looking, looking, looking. Throws it to K9. He's got open space. To the tw 15. Oh, he slipped too. There's a lot of slip sliding away. Slip sliding away. Near the destination. Oh, I keep sliding away. Third and two. If he didn't slip, he would have had a first down. I appreciate you guys for getting me to the, over the hump. I'm so excited about this. Here we go. Gino in the gun. Walker in the backfield. Locker in those motion to the right. It's a handoff. Yes! Walker for six. And another Seahawks. First down. That was huge. All right, now they're starting to get a little bit of a run game going. Like I said, the pass is setting up the run here. Kind of thought they would run it. They didn't have uh, Homer in the backfield this time. And Walker, some good blocking up front. Inside the 10-yard line to the 9. First and goal from the 9-yard line. Snap. Gino to throw. Cheap to the calf. Metcalf, don't talk. Don't talk. He wants a flag, but he's not going to get it. Second and goal. Metcalf, you got to get your hands up there. You could have caught that ball with two hands. Tried to one-hand it. That was not a bad throw, but he was trying to one-hand the ball instead. Second and goal. Too busy infighting with the corner. Didn't have his up hands ready for the pass. Empty backfield. Three receivers right. One, two to the left. They rush three. Drop everybody in coverage. Gino's going to want to run. He is going to... Oh, God. He's trouble. No! Fumble! No! Oh, my God. He fumbled. We're going to get no points on this drive. The worst possible thing to happen. Ball comes loose and it's recovered by the Tampa Bay. Oh my God, we were knocking on the door. Again, short circuited at the end there. What the hell? Oh God, a gift given to us and we give it right back. Right at the end there. Crap. Oh, oh my God. Everybody take a breath. Mm. Everybody take a breath. Mm. Oh, my <laughs> oh my goodness. goodness. So frustrating. Oh, look it down, look it down. oh, the ball was out. The ball was oh, out. The ball's definitely out. It came out. Oh my it was still goodness out. sakes. <laughs> so funny. It's like, you guys can hear me reacting to it, huh? Yeah, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I know. It's like the delayed reaction. Usually I'm the one who's late. This you're time like, you're oh the one who's God. behind. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Amanda, I was at that McDonald's yesterday. The same one. <sighs> Jeez, uh, please. Oh my goodness sakes. Well, there's still. I could really hear you screaming like. Plenty of time here. But man. <laughs> I turned my phone down so that I can't hear Norm so that he doesn't ruin anything <laughs> for me. It's not very often that I'm ruining things for somebody else. Usually it's somebody else ruining it for me. Normally, I'm the spoiler. Like, me and Norm are the same. Normally me and Norm are like, like maybe a couple seconds together. difference. Well, you know what's different but is like, this today, is, I think I'm, the reason why this is NFL Network. Usually we're doing it off of Fox. 
NFL on yeah. Fox. Or, you know, True. once in a while, the primetime game. But we've only had I'm one primetime game. On CBS, so, I think. So, uh, so, yeah, I'm on NFL Network here, and they must just have a faster feed. Usually, I'm a good 20, 30 seconds behind, you know, other people's well, broadcasts. I'm, I'm watching. I think I'm watching like it's like the CBS. Yeah, That's when I checked the TV on this morning, it was already on the game. So, it knew where I wanted to be. Yeah, because <laughs> this is definitely faster. Because usually... <laughs> The scoreboard, even my scoreboard below, is ahead of me by like 30 seconds. And then the yeah. broadcast catches up to it. But I think I'm ahead of the, the, I'm the on scoreboard seven. tonight. So, mm, that just sucked. Donkey, you know what? All right, back to this game. We need to turn over. We need to turn over back, or at least a third down a stop. Two boneheaded turnovers that kind of negate <laughs> each other, but at least. We're deep in their territory, not in our territory. So if we get the ball back, if we get the ball back quick, you know, we, we still need two scores. So we've got to get the ball. We can't let them add on to theirs. Hand off. Oh, no. Broke a tackle. Oh, no, he did get the tackle. Ryan Neal saved White from getting a first down. Nonetheless, he still got about six and a half yards. Called seven. Oh, Gino, Gino, Gino. Weak. Second down and three. Can we get something crazy here? Pitch to the left. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, what a tackle by Jordan Brooks to lose three yards. That's going to make it third down and about five. Maybe six with minute and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. That was a great play by Jordan Brooks. Great tackle. Lost. Oh, he had a face mask. And we didn't, they didn't call it. He had a big time face mask there. Wow, he lost four years. Third and seven. There's an opportunity right here. We dodged the bullet. Didn't get the penalty thrown on us. And now here's a chance to get this ball right back. Brady in the gun. Three receivers right. One left. Snap. He's going to throw. Looking, looking, looking. God dang it. Complete. Mike Evans again for the first down. Needed seven. He got 11. Less than a minute left in the third quarter. So Tampa Bay will maintain possession going into the fourth quarter with a 11-point lead. Oh, slipped. Jordan Brooks slipped. Jordan Brooks said he not only slipped, but he got pushed. Offensive PI, but they didn't call it. Tit for tat, I guess, because we didn't get the face mask calling us, and they didn't call the fast interference on them. We got away with one last week against uh, the Cardinals. Snap. H uh, handoff on the left side. Get him. Tease. Knifing through. First down and more. 40, 45, 50. Quandre Diggs stiff arm knocks him to the ground. And he takes it into the Seattle territory, about a 25-yard run. And that's going to end the third quarter. Ugh. Yikes. Missed tackle and a stiff arm. He just shoved Quandre to the ground. Remind me of the beast mode, the beast quick run. Holy mackerel. All right. Let me see. Maybe I have time to play that last bit of that, uh, the best of rivals, because we didn't quite get to that whole thing. Let's see. Where did we get to? Let's try to play through. Let's get forward a little bit here. I think this is where we got to. Right here. Duck. This was the uh, zombie rivals against the Cowboys. Cassidy Quinn was the guest in this show. This was an epic production. We got so many people. Right here. <laughs> Mark Collins is the Star of Bears fan. I love this one. Funniest one ever. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, nice toss. That's the closest Chicago's going to get to hitting any of their receivers. The bloopers are so funny on this. One. Siri, prepare the secret weapon. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, and the quarterback 
Jesus. Toast. What movie is that line from? This is his first. Last race Cardinals video. Can I borrow that first again? Thank you. That's so much fun. Running around downtown. Pike Place Market. This is up on Queen Anne Hill. We actually shot Dino doing that dive in my driveway with the green screen into the shot. Like this. <clears throat> oh, the GTA epic production. That was so hard to make. So much work. We were using the GTA cinema mode to, to, to get these film-like angles, but man, it was so much work. It was fun, though. This is what I learned in, in the GTA was making this production. Why you do me like that, Norm? Why? That was an actually an actual Ferrari when we shot this. The last one. Hey, <laughs> lucky penny. Oh, that was classic. There you go. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. A little walk down memory lane. Oh, we're back to the game. All right. So, end of the third quarter, into the fourth we go. I have a feeling Gino is finally going to have this situation I've been talking about all year. Can Gino bring us back from behind? That question is about to be answered today. And we're going to have to get a stop defensively because right now we're on our heels. Fourth quarter, Tampa Bay on the move at the 41-yard line. Snap. Tom Brady to throw. He does. Wide open in the middle of the field to the tight end in the red zone at the 18-yard line. And Tampa Bay is right back in business where they were like 20 minutes ago when they did that goofball play. We couldn't capitalize on the f turnover. Can't stop the run. That's what's hurting us. Can't stop the pass either. Can't stop anything. Ah, damn you, Brady. Snap. Hand off of the middle. Hit him. Wrap him. There you go. Shelby Harris muscles him to the ground for no gain. Maybe one yard gain. God, if we can keep this to a field goal. If we can keep this to a field goal, we still got a shot. If they get a field goal, it'll be 17 to 3. It'll be a two touchdown game. If they get a touchdown, it's going to be a 21 to 3 game, an 18 point game. That's a three score game. We got to keep it to a field goal here. A touchdown is going to be really tough to overcome in this situation, having blown that last opportunity. Snap, ready to throw. Come on, get a screen, screen, screen. Oh, God, that's trouble. First down or very close to it. Tight end screen. I think he got the first down. Oh boy, it's going to be first and goal if it is. That's a great play. Was it a first down? Nope, third and one. He's short. This is a big play right here. If we can get a stop here, force them to make a decision to either go for it or kick the field goal. Brady's all bitching. Like a No, he wanted the he wanted, he wanted a measurement. Brady looks like a spoiled brat out there sometimes. I wanna see the change! I want a measurement! And it's short, dummy. Third and inches. He might sneak this or just give it to Fournette. I mean, they've been running down our throats all day. I don't know why they'd stop now. God. 
suddenly Tampa Bay's offense just woke up and ours went to sleep. This could take a miracle to get this game right now the way it's playing. We blew a perfect opportunity with first and goal inside the 10. Could have changed this game completely. And now it's gone the other. Pendulum has swung exactly the opposite way. Snap. Hand off of the middle. Got it. First down and more. He needed inches and he got three. It's first and goal at the six. And this is not good. And the clock continues to run inside of 12 minutes now. <sighs> Boom! What a block. Ooh, Woolen had his ankle rolled up on by his own player. Luckily, it didn't, it didn't uh, hurt him. God, this game is going way too fast. 11 and a half minutes inside the four-yard line. We need a stop, turnover, something spectacular here. It's a run. Hit him. Nope, nothing. No gain. So, second and goal from the f maybe half a yard. 11 minutes approaching here in the game. Remember, don't forget, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, subscribe first and then join the Discord and hit the react button on the giveaway channel. Second and goal, empty backfield. Brady will throw. He swing. He wants to swing it. Nope. Goes to the second production. Ah, oh, touchdown. Mike Evans. Oh, it's Evans. Good win. Touchdown. Not good. This is this is completely, like I said, not our type of game. Twenty-one. Oh wait, there's a penalty. There's a penalty. It might be against the Bucks. Hold on. Offensive pass interference. Oh, hold your horses here. Yes, offensive PI. Wait, what? There's no, no, he said no flag. It is a touchdown. Crap. Oh, son of a bitch. So, so 20 to 3, it's going to be 21 in a second. So, we're going to be 18 points behind after this kick. It's a three score game. I don't know how we can do this. Seattle blew it. We had our chance, our window opened up, and we blew it. And probably cost us the game to not capitalize on that turnover. Uh, we just didn't show up. We just didn't show up in this game. Oh, man. Funny movie uh, on... Uh, so, oh, so, no, yo, Friday. AD. AD, what's up? Yeah, Evan's I, think, turn. I think the web's on Tampa Bay some payroll, dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> they let us get away with one... Yeah, the offensive pass, you know, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't see it, so I don't know how big of an issue, you know. It would have helped, but I didn't see the play that they were the they initially threw the flag on. But yeah. it's I, We can't blame the refs on this. This is us. This is just bad execution. Yeah. And then when we finally get a break, they give it right mm -hmm. back, and that might have been the death blow. Yeah, I changed Three the scores. channel to... The, I changed the channel to the NFL Networks. Now I'm like a second ahead of you. Oh, so there you go. It is really just an NFL network. I'm on the same channel thing. too, Norm. Because yeah, yeah, I was watching on CBS. Yeah, CBS is behind. It seems like the, uh, yeah, like Fox is tends to be behind. So whatever reason, NFL Network. That's great. So now we can uh, we can we can watch them lose faster. We can be right on time to watch them lose. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, how about you react to it for seconds on later Tuesday for or have. Oh, I'll have uh, I'll send it to Miles and she can try to play it on Tuesday for me. You can do that. <laughs> yep, I'm sure they'd be happy to play it. So, mm. this it was sucks. A cool video. So. My uh, my mom watched it and she commented, and some of my other friends did. Uh, yeah, I saw I saw some of the comments on Facebook. That was cool. Glad glad you <laughs> enjoyed you it. My friend, uh, his name is Brandon Morris. He's one of my good friends. That's cool. 
Yeah, I posted yeah. it. Yeah, I posted it. it. I put it on cool Facebook. Video. I put it on uh, YouTube. I put it, it on everywhere. Instagram. Twitter, probably. I, I didn't see it on Twitter. I don't think I hit Twitter. I think I just hit the other three. But, yeah, Instagram, yeah, Facebook. Uh, <sighs> so this is what Seattle has to do with 10 minutes, basically about 10, a little over 10 minutes left. They got to go down, score a touchdown, get a stop, go down, score a touchdown, get a stop, and then... Or kick an outside kick and try to win it with a field goal. Wait, no, they can't even do that because they're eight. They're eighteen points. No, behind. We they need have to, they'd have to. They'd have to go for two on one of them and then try to get a hey, uh, a field goal to try to tie the game. This is not good. This is not really happening. Yo. Yeah, this is not good. Hey, congratulations on making. 50,000 subscribers, buddy. Thank you. It's the one good thing that's happened in this game. So, yeah. I have you guys to thank for it. All right, back to the game. Here's the kickoff return to the 10, to the 20, to the 22, 23. DJ Dallas on the kickoff return. Yeah, it's probably, I hate to say it, but it's not Geno's forte. I never like to say the game's done with ten minutes left, but my God, it's not even it's not even not having faith in the team. It's it's not his strength, and it's the way this game has gone so far. All right, here we go. They're gonna have to move quick because time is of the essence. Gino under center, three two receiver left. Gino will throw, looking screen to Walker on the left side. 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, that's a good play. All the way down to the 47-yard line. That's good. No penalties. That's good for uh, Seahawks. First down. Yeah, that field sucks, man. It is like tore up. Here we go. Ball the 46-yard line. Snap. Gino to throw. They blitz. Picked up. Thrown. What the hell? Overthrown. Who are you throwing to, bro? Wait, there's a flag. Holding? Probably a hold. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, illegal use on the D. Okay. Well, by penalty, that's going to give us an automatic first down. Okay, well, so far, they're moving down the field quick. In less than a minute, we're already into Tampa Bay territory. They can score really fast. Wow. Gino airmailed that, though. Thank goodness for the penalty. Hmm. Duke's a hazard in the super chat says congratulations on 50k. Thank you, Duke's a hazard. Appreciate it, man. All right, first down at the 49 yard line of Tampa Bay. We need to score. We need to score quick. It's got to be a touchdown. Gino to throw. He has to roll right. Throws it to K9. He gets to the 40. First down and out at the 37 yard line. And that's good for another Seahawks. First down. Ten minutes left in the game. Clock continues to run inside of 10 minutes. We need to score quickly. And then we got the defense got to do some amazing stuff. And it's all got to happen super, super fast. Sn Play calling out protections. 9.37 left of the game. Snap. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, it's trouble. Oh, Walker to the 30. And down at the 29-yard line. Second down and four. Nine and a half minutes left. This clock, slow down, clock. You're going too fast. Second is three. You got seven on the play. We got to score here in like the next minute or two. Somehow, some way. Lockett been very quiet today. I don't know if he's even got a pass. One pass, maybe? There's the super chat. Thank you, Dukes of Hazard, again for the 50K. Congrats. Come on, Gino. Inside of nine minutes now. Snap. Gino looking. He wants to hit Fant, and he does to the 21-yard line. That's good for another Seahawks first down. Clock, though, is our enemy. It's running way too quickly. Inside of 8 minutes, 40 seconds now. God dang it. This clock is out of control. 21-yard line first down. Empty backfield. We got to go for the end zone here. 
Snap. Gino to throw. He's looking. He's going to run. Throws. Caught. Yes. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett. Seahawks. I just said we haven't Touchdown. seen Tyler in a while. Seahawks. There it is. Are you kidding me? Holy catfish. All right, Tyler. And they're going to go for two now to try to make it a 10-point game. Nice route by Lockett. Safety was late getting there. And Gino with a nice throw. So if they get two here, they would make it a 10-point game with 8.20 left. So a two-point conversion... Here we go. Gino in the gun. K9 to his right. Lockett goes motion from right to left with three receivers on the left side. Back to motion to the right. Snap. Gino looking, looking, looking. Still looking. Throws. It's incomplete. Failed conversion. So now we're down 12. So now we're going to need two touchdowns to try to get into this game instead of a touchdown and a field goal because of the missed two-point conversion. We didn't really have to go for two right then. We could have gone for seven. We're going to need another touchdown later. We could have gone for two then. I, I sometimes don't like when they go for two too quickly because now you're forced to be in a, in a two-touchdown situation where they could have gotten the next touchdown, gotten two, and then still been within two-strike territory. But, oh well. No, they got to get the stop nonetheless because no matter what, we need another touchdown, period. But I don't know if I would have gone for two in that situation. They didn't have to, but they did. All right. Well, sign of life, at least. They got their first touchdown of the day. Discord, what say you? You guys uh, feeling more, a little more better? A no? little. A little. <laughs> a tiny a bit. Little. How long is that video? Because we have time to play really quick. Nice How long is that video? That video that, video that you uh, it's, about now. it's a minute something, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait here for a second because of the uh, well again the other issues I got some the music I, the music is kind of like I actually oh, yeah. I actually got copyright flagged on that video on YouTube I already know it does that so if I do it again it might draw too much oh, attention really? so, yeah I did I knew I knew I was going to because I was pretty much ripping the uh, the Humpty dance instrumental yeah and if you pretty much rip uh, an actual instrumental off from the thing. It's unless you make your own or modify it. It's, uh, it's pretty much gonna get flagged. Yeah. Oh, you. Uh, it's yeah, it's, it it's was, on there. It it's on there. Pretty cool. So, anyway. All right. So here's the situation. Now we have to stop Tampa Bay like immediately and get the ball back and then try right. to score, which would then force uh, make it a one score game sense. with like three minutes left. But if Tampa Bay does anything. Whether that be scoring uh, any kind of points or eating up the clock, we're we in trouble. So turnover. it's got to be fast. It's got to yeah, be a three and, and out. It really early. would be nice. Would be anything. real nice right now. I know it's really early, Amanda, but I had to do it. Look, got my soda ready to. <laughs> what you're having? You're having a soda at uh, eight fifty-five yeah, in the morning. Why not? Why hey, not? People, you know, they get their coffee. You get your soda. It's caffeine one way. I think I need more coffee. Look, I think I'm gonna <laughs> have. Dark there I'm gonna wow. have my. I'm gonna have my my sugar hit for the morning. There you go. I also go to Starbucks a lot too. All right, here's a quick one. All right, here we go. And it's dark I there already nerds. too. Nerds. Man. Be taken at the goal line. Five, ten, fifteen. Hit him. Get the ball. Now the twenty-two yard line. So eight fourteen left in the game. Seattle down by twelve. Now let's go. 
They're going to try to run this football, I'm sure. We got to stop it. First down at the 23. Brady to hand off. In the backfield. Wrap him up. Good. Lost about a half a yard. Initial penetration by Tariq Woolen. So clock will run. Second down. and now that, If we can get a three and out here, we're still alive. Huh. Mr. Potato Guy. The Munich Miracle would be a nice name, wouldn't it? The Miracle in Munich. The Munich Miracle. Something like that. 7.45 left. Second and 10. No gain on the last play. Brady's going to throw. Looking. Throws. Oh, broken up. Nice play by <laughs> Michael Jackson. He said, beat it. And uh, knocked that ball down. It looked like it was going to be completed. I was about to say completed. And he just jumped in there in the nick of time. And the key there is it stops the clock. Third down and 10. In front of Julio Jones. What a beautiful play by Michael Jackson. Timon! <laughs> Ooh! Third and 10, ball at the 23. This is a huge play right here. We get the stop. We have life. Snap. Brady to throw. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Hit him! No, he fell down! He's going to get the first down! God dang it! Oh my god! Brady looked like he was in trouble and he was able to get the pass off and Brooks slipped so he couldn't make the tackle and the running back then got the first down at the last second run on the left sideline. So Brooks slipping, missed tackling. That might have been the backbreaker, to be honest with you. Oh, and Jordan Brooks is hurt, too. I think he got hurt on that play. He might have pulled something when he slipped. Oh, adding injury to insult. That might have been the game, guys. I mean, that we needed to get that ball, and that's just going to chew up way too much clock and probably kill any chance of a... If it was one possession, it'd be one thing, but two possession, mm, that might have been our chance. I think it slipped. In the game. Yep. I mean, well, even even if they that. just even if they just run it three times here and don't get a first down, they're going to chew up at least three minutes of clock, and they'll leave, leave us less than five, four minutes left. Like, does time go faster in Germany or something? Is <laughs> it, that why it, it, it feels like it? Yeah, <laughs> they got it on a faster uh, faster speed over there or something. But man, that was a that was what that was our shot. Couldn't get it. Dad, Narva, Streamyard. Uh, uh, did a video. No, I just did a Zoom call with them. You'll do that mm. again when it's. I'm gonna try. After the game, Birdman, probably. thanks for subscribing. <sighs> wow. You better get that set up when the game's over, Norb. The Zoom thing for you, him and you. Yep. Uh, and it's hard. They have a hard. They had a hard time uh, connecting. Well, it's hard for them to hear me because it's so loud in there. But we'll see. Yeah. It's gonna be a sad conversation because right now it's looking uh, looking pretty unlikely we're gonna win this game. I mean, it'll, it'll take a bizarre Miracle. turnover type thing. But we had our shot that when we were first in goal at the nine yard line, we were about to turn into a one yeah, score did. game, and that turnover really, really killed, killed it. Us. But this play too, this mm -hmm. this would have given us life, but not getting that third down stop, that was probably the game right there. Barring this a, field is killing us. Yeah, this field is kind of probably yeah. whatever issue that Jordan Brooks has injury wise. Um, it, this field had a lot to do with it. I mean, everybody's slipping on this. It kind of reminded me yeah. of the uh, the field. You know, when we played at FedEx Field um, back in uh, 2012, yep. oh, yeah. um, the rookie year for Russell Wilson. And that, that, that yeah. was a garbage field. That field was like mostly dirt with some grass, but it was. It was just so tore up, but this one, it was it's crap. just loose. It's a really oh. loose field. And I'm actually surprised that, um, and thanks, no Gomez for the sub. I'm surprised that it's almost like they didn't have the right shoes for this because on a field like this, you need more, you know, strong, uh, longer cleats. And you it seemed like they weren't cleats. prepared. Yeah. You think they would have had, had a lot of time to really figure that out. Are, you see, are there something on the sideline for All them right, to get to the grass off? 
So second down. Oh, second and eight. What did I miss? Did I miss a play? Second and eight. I missed a play. Yeah, they were late coming back. Second and eight. Brady throws. Intercepted! Cody Barton, go! Cody Barton with a pick at the 45-yard line. We have life. We have life. The Bra- the Bucks inexplicably throw the football when they could have just kept running it. And Cody Barton, of all players, makes the interception in Tampa Bay territory at the 45. And now Seattle has a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. But they got a score here. <laughs> this guy's Tampa Bay fan, fans were flipping off the Seahawks in the end zone with the celebration. Oh my god, that looks like one of my Madden throws. Uh, <laughs> I would throw it right to a guy. All right, here we go. First and ten at the, at the Bucks forty-five with six twenty-four. Okay, there's still a chance here. S- offside. He was offside. Throw it, Gino. Throws. No. Oh my god, that could have been intercepted. Overthrew Lockett. I thought they were offside on the right side of the. Defensive line, inter- incomplete, second and ten. Wow, Brady had up up to that moment 399 consecutive passes without interception. Till then. That was huge. Well, that was the mir- that was the break we were looking for. Now they gotta capitalize. Down two touchdowns. Second and ten, six nineteen left. Gino to throw. Throws. He's going to throw to Pokerson to the 38, down at the 37. Nope. That's the 38. Third down in about four. Six minutes left, third and four. Got to, I think we're going to four down territory no matter what. So they'll go for it regardless of what they get here. But let's get the first down. We got to score a touchdown here. Third and four. Gino in the gun. Walker to his left. He's going to throw. Wants to go left. He does. Compl- oh, it's off the hands of Parkinson. Incomplete. Fourth down. They got to go. They got to do it. Fourth down. This is that thing. I've said, Gino, can you bleed us from behind? Prove me wrong. Or prove me true that you can do it. Oh, Metcalf was open. He didn't look that way, though. That was catchable. Parkinson should have had it. Nah, he would have been out of bounds anyway. Even if he caught it, it wouldn't have been in bounds. So, here you go. Back to this being the game. Are they going to miss another gift that was given to them and not take advantage? Fourth and three. They got to get the first down for sure, no matter what. Get the first down first. Empty backfield. Snap. Get the first down. Get the first down. Throws. Lock it to the 27-yard line for a Seahawks first down. Five and a half minutes left in the game. They hurry up down. No huddle. 28-yard line. No huddle. Three receivers right. Two to the left. Empty backfield. Gino waits the shotgun snap. Oh, they're calling out protection. 5-11 left in the game. Snap. Gino to throw. Four-man rush. He's got good pocket. His pocket's collapsing. He's got to throw. Got to throw! Go, Gino! Go, go, go! He escapes! 30! 25! 20 slide! Down is the oh and a flag. He slid at the 19, and there's gonna get a roughness on it as well. That's gonna be a first down and a penalty. I don't know, I don't agree with the call because he was in the motion of sliding when the defender went to hit him. I think he was already. So there's no, they picked up the flag. Maybe Anthony D's right. Maybe they are being paid off here. So they don't, they don't give him the penalty because they're saying he was already in the process of the slide or, or that the tackler was already in the process of tackling before the slide. So it's going to be second and one for the 19 yard line. Get the first down. 452 left in the game. Clock runs. Gino with K9 to his right. Snap. Gino to throw. Four man rush. Throws deep right side. Fit. Incomplete. He couldn't get his feet in. He didn't get his feet in bounds. Incomplete pass. Oh, man. He almost had a touchdown there. 
He had a step on the defender, but he couldn't haul it in. Let's see the replay. He gets the ball. One foot. Ah, oh, couldn't get that second foot in. Only with a, and if it was a college game, that would have been a touchdown. Just couldn't bring in the second foot. Tried to drag it out by about four inches. It's third and one. They got to get the first down. Handoff, K-9. He's not going to make it. God dang it. That's the worst case scenario. It's, it's, a, it's a wasted down. Clock runs, and we still didn't get the first down. 4.30 left, and they're four down territory. This is the game. They got to get the first down. Oh, great. NFL Network just glitched out on me again. Come on! 4.15 left. Clock is running. They got to make this, get this play right. Fourth and one. Play game on the line. Snap. He's going to run. She's... Touchdown to Goodwin! Oh my god, what a catch! Oh my god! He did it! Not that, I want this! Touchdown! Touchdown Seahawks! Touchdown Seahawks! With 358, Gino throws a touchdown strike on fourth down to Goodwin diving in the left corner of the end zone! I can't believe he made this! What a catch by Goodwin! Wow! With the defender all over him! What a heroic catch by Goodwin for the touchdown! My god, that was heroic! Extra point here to make it a five-point game. Snap, hold, kick is up, and... The kick is good! With 3.58, it is a one-score game. All right. I apologize for sort of giving up already, but that interception, the interception did it. That infused life back to the team, and this time they capitalized to get a touchdown out of it. So 21-16, a five-point game with 3.58 left. Seattle has all their timeouts and the two-minute warning, so now... It's on the defense. We got to get a stop here and force Tom Brady and company to give the Seahawks back the ball. And Geno might finally get that chance to prove to the world that he can win a game in the final two minutes. But the defense has got to get the stop first. Woo! Oh, my God. Mm, 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 mm. Remember, we are going to be doing the drawing for this official Munich game T-shirt, Seahawks Buccaneers, along with a Norb Cambini and some other little knickknacks. But if you want to be eligible, you've got to subscribe to the channel first, which I would greatly appreciate, and then go to the Discord and react. Hit the React button in the Giveaways channel, because that's how you get entered into the drawing. You can't just subscribe. you got to do two, those two things. Um, and then we'll do the drawing at the end of the game. So that is uh, what we'll do. We'll 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 take it. the The computer will get it down to ten people, and then we'll do the last man standing. Here's the kickoff, taken at the eight yard line, returned out to the fifteen. Boom, and he's down at the eleven yard line. Good coverage by the Seahawks kicking department, and now it's three fifty five left in the game. Seahawks with three min three timeouts, the two minute warning. Got to get a stop by. Stop on Tampa Bay here. Somehow get the ball back, whether by turnover, by by turnover on downs. We've got to get the ball back so that Gino will have time to try to get a game-winning score. Boy, Tom Brady making a huge mistake. Here we go. Tom Brady and the Bucks is going to hand off, running up the left side. Stopped in his tracks. Maybe a yard. Second down and nine, I want to say. At some point here, if he doesn't throw on third, second down, he'll throw on third down. Seattle's going to have to... Eighth game with two or more takeaways. Most in the NFL, the Seahawks have. So, he, takeaways have been huge. It's only they capitalize on the first one. We could win in this game. Three twenty left. The clock runs. 
Second and nine. They got a yard on that last play. Brady, will he throw or will he handle it? He's going to throw. Looking, looking, looking. Throws. God dang it. Complete for a first down to Goodwin. Godwin. Too many goods and gods and wins. Jeez. The first downs will kill us. Because they don't even have to. If they get to keep getting first downs, we'll lose. Mm, not a great throw in front of Kobe Bryant. Damn, Brady. 244. We're getting down to that time where one more first down, the game's going to be over. 239 left. Got the two minute warning coming up and all three timeouts. Handoff. Get him. Gets two, maybe three. Second and seven. We'll see. I'll call timeout before the two minute warning or they let it go to the two minute warning. They call their first timeout to stop the clock with 225 left. Mm, it's desperation time here. This is the drive of the game. If we don't get, if the if they get a first down here, the game is over. We have to get a stop. The defense has to get the stop. Twenty-one sixteen, a five-point lead. <sighs> Seattle's first timeout called. Oh God, the stress! I thought it was just going to be one of those. Ah, we lost, and then. Have a boring ending to the game, but no, we got another hard heart attack in the making here. Mm. Here we go. Timeout's over. Two twenty-five left. Ball at the thirty-four yard line. Field position really not the issue. Time is second and seven. Brady under center this time. Changing plays. Takes a snap. He's gonna hand off up the middle. Got another first down. Son of a bitch. Thirteen yard run. That might be it. Geno Smith is hitting himself, slapping himself in the head. I think he's thinking back at that previous possession where he had the ball first and goal at the nine and knows that was the turning point. That was the game. Alem Alemius, thanks for subscribing. Gamerbot582, thanks for subscribing. Well, there's one last breath. We're like at that point where you've got the defibrillator and it's like, charge 200, clear. We're about at that point right now. With one timeout left, the clock will only stop twice. And so we can, if we stop them here, we could get the ball back with seconds left. But if we get another first down, definitely it's over. But we've got to get it stopped. Throws! God damn it. First down, 20 yard gain. That's the game. That's the game. God, this defense even put up any kind of resistance. <sighs> God, that sucked. Yeah, it's like they did everything to fight their way back in. They just gave it to them. They just rolled over and just played dead. Defense got nothing, nothing on it. That was the game. That's the game. First down. Maybe. Maybe there's like 20 seconds left if they get a stop. If they get a stop. Right now, they can't stop if anything. We're lucky. If I, don't, we're I, lucky. Know. I don't even know mathematically how I can even see us getting the ball back. Neither do I. First down. Timeout. I'm surprised he's Second still down. The two ball. minute warning. Third. Yeah, maybe we could get it. We could, we could still get it. Well, it's, it's paying off because they're not just running the ball and just doing the old, you know, well, just run off the clock and not try to get the first down. They're going for it. They're going for the jugular. Yes, yeah, technically it's not. It, it, they could still have some time left if they can get the next three, but they would have to get a, a stop, timeout, uh, stop, 
two minute warning. Then it'd be third down. If they get another stop, then it would be fourth down, and they'll have no, some man. time left on the clock. But man, I'm there reaching. I'm reaching now. This feels like uh, Super Bowl Forty Nine, where I was like thinking, maybe Tom Brady will we'll get, we'll get a safety. Maybe he'll get a safety. Uh, do, 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 do. Hey, can you hear me, Stone Norb? Yep. Yeah, he has uh, it. What, is, what is this game, man? Like, seriously. Well, it was looking really good about five, ten minutes ago. Yeah. It was like exciting, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Are you saying the, the, the balloon the went. Deep word? <laughs> <laughs> You saying the bleep word? I feel you, actually. <laughs> hey, man. Sometimes you just can't. Ha- sometimes certain things just need to be said. Sometimes it just has to be said. All right, back to the game. How is this gonna finish? Just, How on. will this game end? Oh, the whole team. The whole stadium is singing. Uh, Take Me Home Country Rose by John Denver. <laughs> Here we go. First down. Hand off. Wrap him up! Oh my god, he's gone! First, it's over. It's over. That's the game. Tampa Bay runs the ball for first down. It's over. I can't believe it. You know what? It's one of those things where we finally got the media to buy into going, hey, Seahawks could win. They might even blow out the Bucks. And instead, instead, we should have just been the underdogs because as soon as the media started believing in us, that's when we stopped playing our game. It's over. Let me see if I can see if I can get my uh, see if I can get my sister in here. They're kneeling down, so yeah, game is over. Let's see if I can get my uh, One minute left. Seattle can't stop the clock. They'll take one more knee and that'll be the game. And that's it. That's the game. 21-16 and a anticlimactic loss. So Seattle will drop to 6 and 4. The Bucks will improve to what? 5 and 5. Oh god. Well, I was right the first time on my prediction that we were going to lose this game. I changed it. All right. So that's that. Well, I'm going to try to not be too bummed out about this because on the positive side, you guys did get me to 50,000, which for me, that's really super exciting. That's that's really awesome. And now we get to do the giveaway uh, for the t-shirt. So last chance here, guys, as the game is, about, is over, put your final uh, request in. Again, subscribe to my channel. You guys can win this in the giveaway, we're gonna do it live right now. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna do that in the beanie, I'm gonna autograph it, send it to you guys, one of you guys. So here's what we gotta do. I'm gonna open up the Discord here, and I need to get Roshi in uh, on here. Is Roshi in? If you could jump in onto the um, into the Discord, uh, I want to kind of walk through this process <laughs> here as I get ready. And there's Roshi. Roshi, can you can you? Uh, 
join me up in here so we can get do this drawing. We're gonna okay, give, okay. do the giveaway right now. All right. So um, yeah, there's still eight more minutes until um until you like find out who the ten winners are. So um, oh, so I gotta wait ten. Okay, so you guys yeah. got to stay a little bit longer, even though this game is freaking over. Uh, wait a minute, we have to wait eight minutes. Okay, then you're gonna send me. So then the computer will automatically draw ten names from the submissions. Yes. How many people do we have in there now? What's it up nope. to? Um, 96. 96. Okay, so there's a chance to get oh. close to 100. All right, that's good. That's good. So 96 entries. Maybe you guys could be the last four and get it to 100 entries. Once that is done, then uh, Roshi, and there's one more, Adrian Abarca, 6567. Thank you for the, for the yeah, sub. Very, very long right home. So, right home. Uh, so Roshi, you uh, will send the names to me, right? Uh, yes, I will. All right. And then uh, do we determine how you're going to get those names to me? What did we do last time? Um, I think last time I just like had a Google talk with like each of the names then I sent that. Oh yeah. The Google doc. So I just need to have the Google doc link that yeah. you can send to me or email it to me, whatever it takes. Then I'll load up the wheel and then we'll uh, draw the final winner from there. We'll do the process of elimination. Last person standing. So we got about yeah, seven minutes good. left. Well, I'll chat you guys up until that time. So get your last uh, right. subscriptions in and hit that giveaway react button so you can be entered in. AD, yes, what you got? In 99 now. Guess what, I, guess what I did a few days ago. Uh, you you got a mullet haircut. <laughs> that was that was yesterday. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> Olivia Holt is doing um, an autograph uh charity event who's, do who is doing, it? who's doing it olivia holt oh oh so you get you get to see your celeb she's doing an autograph event was, where uh she's doing it on youtube and instagram oh i thought she was coming to yakima to go visit the president of her fan club and doing an autograph uh, event no, in yakima i was, I was I gonna wish. say that would have been something amazing albert polarize well, thanks for subscribing autograph, though you, you got her autograph? autograph? Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's cool. Olivia Holt. Mm -hmm. God, I want to see Tom Brady's mug on my screen. It oh, shot no. at him smiling. It's like, ugh. Don't make me throw up. Ugh. So frustrating. Too early to be looking at his ugly let's, butt. Let's, let's, watch, let's change the channel. Let's look at BBC or something. Oh, yeah. Let's go look at that. Football game. There's no football game. There's no games right now. It's so early. But oh, NFL yeah, countdown. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up. Yeah, I can't even escape it. ESPN is showing clips. Oh, my God. Sneakerhead has got to. I got to turn you down because you got your volume way too loud over there, bro. Um, I was about to do it, Noor, but mm. you already did it. Um. Anyway, man, that sucked. That was terrible. But you guys got to stick around. I know a lot of people jumped off here, but we still got to do the the uh, the the giveaway. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. And now we got to mm. talk to your pops and your. Oh, that he entered in the giveaway. Yeah, right I'm on. just gonna do the draw. Yeah. Well, I try to. I'm trying to get them uh, in here, but they may not be connecting. They're probably trying to, get, probably out. Getting, trying to get the hell out of that stadium right now, so they yeah. they may not be able to connect. It was hard enough to just connect before the game. But oh man, not the game we were hoping for. Entries. But I will say so though, like, Gino did a good job go getting the, the team down the field to score the touchdown. I mean, he did his job. The defense didn't do theirs. But he did blow it earlier on when we had uh, first goal at the nine. Gino turned it over. And Happy marriage till tomorrow, play. Monday. Yeah, I don't work tomorrow. Well, well I go back do down there Monday running off of and watch my grandma's co coach and do that. We can only get better. Hey, let me show you. This is this is what this is what I originally had predicted on my music prediction video for this game when I thought we were gonna lose. We were they're gonna lose, and I thought we were gonna win, and we ended up losing. So this is this is what I said was gonna happen, which actually came out to be true. Check it out. Mariners. Mariners. In London, yeah, that game was so fun. Yeah, in New York, Super Bowl, we won. Been all around the world, but I ain't gonna lie. There's nothing like Seattle, see. Seattle, Hey, 
Hey, that was you, Amanda. See your little picture there? That was a shot of you and me in one of those games. Yeah, yeah. It's at, at one of the games, mm, I, I think it was my the point, last dude. one. It yeah, was but... the very last one, that our last home game last year. Yeah. That is what that, that picture's from. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. There's a final stat. Do you know, believe it or not, bit. Geno Smith finished 23 for 33, 270 yards and two touchdowns. Tom Brady was 22 for 29 for 258 yards. Geno actually outpassed Tom Brady and had and Brady had one interception more, but they didn't show the Geno fumble in those stats. That's probably the yeah. biggest play that was the one that did us in. Hey, if Geno did have won the game. Mm. He would have won the game if it wasn't for yeah. that, unfortunately. But he did make a good play at the end. Somebody was asking, how do I enter? We got three more minutes to enter. So here's what you do. First, you got to subscribe to my channel to win this and this and some other stuff. This is the official Germany Munich game t-shirt, by the way. Uh, so subscribe to my channel, and then you got to go to Discord, which I'm going to put the link one more time just so you guys have it since we're about to reach the end here. Here's the link. Check it out in the in the uh, chat. I'm going to put it up one more time. So there's Discord. Click in there, join the Discord, and then you go to the giveaway channel and and then you just hit the little party button and that will get you into the, it's like a little party hat looking thing. And then that will get you entered into the uh into the 104 contest. 104 entries. 104 entries. All right, so people are definitely doing it. Hey Norm, do you have Twitter? I do have Twitter. Yes, I do. All right, I'm a oh, follow. man. Oh. Cool. Yes. Amanda, my Everything's Norbcam. Just... Twitter is at Norbcam. Instagram, Norbcam. TikTok, Norbcam. Facebook, Norbcam. YouTube, Everything Norbcam. Norb Everything Norbcam. Nice and easy. 106 uh, now. We're getting close. I'm going to leave it right here and just unplug it. Hey, Norb, am I entering into the giveaway? I have no idea. <laughs> did you enter? If you hit the giveaway yeah, button, then you would have. You would be. I did. I'm going to do this for the Seahawks. Why not? Just... Here we go. All right, we're gonna be close. We gotta be close. 106 people entered. Uh, yeah. And everybody here in uh, the chat, we got a lot of people in the chat right now. Um, yeah, on the Mariner's Cup, I should probably get it, Amanda. A Mariner's Cup, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. I'm gonna get one so all I can right, have all my. Bring Roshi back in here. Dad. So yeah. Roshi, where do we stand? How close yeah. are we to doing this drawing? They're 34 seconds away now. All right. Three, three. Oh. All right. And, and how am I getting this this list of names again? How are you um, send so it to in me? In like 27 seconds or however long it takes. Um, 110 countries. Like, I'm going like, to copy paste them into a Google Doc, which I've already like given you permission to view. And where will and I get no the Google Doc from? The how am I getting the Google Doc? Is um, it the chat? I've already sent it to um in the, in the command chat. In the com I see it. I see it. Okay. Yeah. All right, six seconds. Okay, Five, all right, four, here we go. Three, two, one, get was over. Okay, that's it. We're cutting yeah, off three. the entries at this point. And we have our Let's, 10. We have how many? 110? It, yeah, we have 111 okay. entries and 110 have 10 winners. All right, so from the 111 <laughs> entries that have been officially uh, received, North we are now going to get... 10 names. The computer is picking 10 names from which I will draw the oh, final okay, name from. We're going to do it. Process of elimination, last Fingers person standing. Crossed. All right, so we're at currently at 50,062 subscribers. I appreciate it. And now I see, I see the magic of Google Docs. I literally see the names being pasted in front of my eyes as we go here. So uh, let me know when you're ready because I can see it. I can see it right. before um, me. And it's perfect timing because I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> all right, is that it? One, two, yeah, three, ready, four, yeah. five, six, ready. seven, eight, nine, ten. Those, those are the ten. Yep, okay, time. all right, here you go. We're setting up the wheel, like Wheel of Fortune style. All right, here you go. Let's see if technology actually works here. If it'll be amazing, it actually works. Hey, look at this. Okay, there it is. There's oh. are the 10 finalists that have been chosen by the computer. We have J Jushy. All right, I'll read this right. Jushy. Oh, uh, Ava Warren. Mr. Mix T, Norb the Best, Triple Jam Cable Man, uh, Vortex uh, Alpha, Jer Luz, Red Kraken 18, Horse, and I Precisions. All right, well, well. I'm going to draw. I'm going to roll this, spin this thing nine times, and the last name standing will be the winner. Here we go. Let's draw. You guys ready? Let's do this thing. And we're spinning. 
The first name out is Horse. Horse, I'm sorry. You have been eliminated from the contest. We're down to nine. Let's go again. Money, somebody. Thanks for subscribing. Here we go. The next one out of the contest is... Oh, I love the name, but I'm sorry you are out to Norb the, Norb the Best. I'm sorry, Norb the Best. I hope you still think I'm the best, but sorry you are out of the running. Down to eight. The Elite Eight. Here we go. Oh, it was close, but it's Vortex Alpha. I'm sorry, Vortex Alpha. You are out of the competition. And then there were seven. Here we go. The oh. Sensuous Seven. Oh, that's probably not the right description. Anyway, the, the, set, the next seven. Here we go. <sighs> Jushy is the next one out. So long, Jushy, but thank you for playing. I appreciate it. Down to the sexy six. Here we go. Rolling again. Next one out of the competition is Mr. Mix T. Sorry, Mr. Mix T, but thank you for, for playing. And now we're to the fabulous five. Here we go. You just look so pitiful. I Precisions <laughs> is out. And now it's the final four. Here we go. Spinning for the final four. Jurls or Jurls. <laughs> Jurls is out. Down to the to the last three. Here we go. Spinning. <laughs> Those names are getting thick on the wheel now. Yes, put some stuff on your Triple JM <laughs> Cable Man, I'm sorry. You are out of the contest. And it comes down to the championship. The final two. It comes down to Ava Warren and Red Kraken 18. I, I hope these people are actually watching. Are these people actually here? I don't know. We'll find out here. Yeah. I don't think they're in the they're not in the Nord or the Discord right now. Well, here we go. They're still entered, so here we go. They're just not like Oh, they're just not watching. Alright, here we go. For the jersey. Or I should say for the t-shirt. For the t-shirt. Here we go. One of these two is gonna win it. The t-shirt of the Munich game. The Norb Campini for that cold weather that's coming. Here we go. The final spin. Is it gonna be Ava Warren or is it gonna be Red Kraken 18? Here we go. The winner. Is oh, it's so close, but it's gonna be Red Kraken 18. Red nice Kraken 18 grandma. is the winner. There we go. Oh my word! Are you kidding me? Holy oh. catfish! There we go. How can I help you? You can help me by making sure that uh, Red Kraken 18 is is uh, here and hopefully willing to uh, you know. Make sure they send their information so I can send this to you. Red Kraken 18 isn't in the Discord uh, chat. Is yeah, his is name is uh, Canadian MNT on top. Is he in here? But he's on like he's on the VC or anything right now. No, not on the VC. Okay, he's offline. All right. Well, we need to get your information. Congratulations, Red Kraken 18, uh, for joining the contest. You are the winner. We get your information, and we'll be sending you this prize package of this uh, this very unique T-shirt commemorating this game. Sadly, a losing effort, but nonetheless, a pretty spectacular moment for uh, fans everywhere: Seahawks fans, German fans, and Buccaneers fans. Congratulations to the Bucks and their fans for uh, for getting this win. All right, well, that was Here's fun. I'm glad it actually worked. What's that? <laughs> we needed one more of those. We needed one more of those. <sighs> I'm sorry. What did you say, Amanda? I said you're too nice. Who cares about the Bucks fans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who cares? 
Tampa Bay. I'm just going to leave this Brady. thing right here. If Tom Brady is just that's nice. freaking annoying. Uh, Tom Brady. Tom he played well, though. We gotta, I really, gotta I give just credit where really, credit is really due. Really hope, I really, really hope next season we don't have to look at his ugly mug anymore. I know. I know. Can't believe it. <laughs> so many chances had, but couldn't pull it off. But Well, yeah. uh, what more can we say? They had their shot. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to connect with my uh, and they blew sister's it. family. They blew it. Yep. They blew it. Gino had his shot, and he just well, couldn't. Well, now, uh, uh, now that the bye week, Norb, you can uh, do some some last minute Madden Sims too. Now, <laughs> as true to form, <laughs> he's always going to be asking for that Madden Sim, which I'm very overdue for because I've not been doing much of anything. But I don't have any more volleyball. Um, see, volleyball season's over. We're kind of in that in between volleyball, high school volleyball, and club season. We've got a buy, so the Seahawks are going to be off for this week. Sucks, man. Now we have to. We have to. Now we have to. We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to, we have to, we have to wear the stink of this loss for like two weeks now. That's the worst part about losing before your bye week is you have to sit there and soak in all the negativity, and now the press is going to be talking down about you, and we have to. You know, carry that for the next two weeks before we can shake that off and we'll come back to uh, the stadium hopefully, win. hopefully get a win against the Raiders at home which will be a fun game to finally come back to the stadium and watch in person but and Amanda sucks. we're going to be uh, in Discord anyways aren't we we're going to try to be in Discord <sighs> but only- well, we can do Madden on Monday yeah. in order if we have time yeah, I definitely will still try to find some time uh, this week. I, I still may be making a, a, a trip out. We, we Because Sophie was sick, we didn't get to visit the college out in the East Coast of Maryland that was interested in her for volleyball. We did a virtual visit on Thursday instead. That went well. Uh, but we still want to go out there and see the campus uh, in person, and we're, we're going to try to do that in the next couple weeks. So maybe during this bye week, we might try to do that. So, um, And we'll see how it all goes. Uh, a lot of stuff. One more question. Still happening. Yo. Have you been thinking about those tickets uh for Thursday night football for me? Oh, for the for the Niner game, right? Yeah. For yeah, the December fifteenth. Yep, it's still early for that, but yes, I'm I'm you know, everything's still <laughs> in hand, so I, I know you're I gotta remind you because you know you got a lot going on, yes, you know, you might right. forget. Yes. Make sure you <laughs> send me a message too on uh, Instagram or uh, Facebook or something to, to remind me. But right okay. now I'm you know, everything's cool. So Oh, I'll, I know. I will uh keep I will keep you in mind. I'll keep you Yeah. At the top of the list. Oh. All right. No matter what, I still got. No matter what, I gotta get get uh, tickets to that game. So All I'll right. be there no don't, matter don't what. Don't worry, don't worry. I got you. I got you. Um, <laughs> mm, anybody else want to ch- ch- chime in? Let, let me get Roshi in here for one last uh, just kind of wrap up on how everything worked today. So, Roshi, you still there? Yep. So, Roshi, um, how did uh, how did everything go today? Did we, so? Do, do we uh, get a few more members on Discord? And how did you feel about how everything went? That was a lot of stuff to juggle today. Um, yeah. So, um, I think we did a good job with um, member growth. Like we gained, we gained like lots of members today. We're at five thirty four now in total. So um, right. that's good. And a lot of progress. Nice, Very nice. Good. All right. And I thought technically the drawing went well. It actually did what we were planning to do. So anytime a plan actually happens the way you want it to, um, it's a it's a pretty cool thing. Still only the Seahawks had did the plan that they wanted to. This would have been a better I need to do like more drawings like that, like you did like you would do at uh, viewing parties. Yeah, I know. That was so much fun. I miss I miss doing those. Maybe someday we'll get another I know, thing going I on it again. Too. But Oh man, it's I like, miss everybody. It's like, yeah, I not know. being able to see, I'll see all you guys. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was always fun to, to have our little crowd and, and share in the in the moments together. But this is a close second. I still feel like I'm sort of sharing it with you. I yeah. just can't high five you guys because you guys are like on the other side of the screen. I, know. I can do it. Hey! <laughs> <clears throat> well, this sucks. I, I the, the 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 reality of the loss still hasn't really hit me yet because I'm still kind of just in this whole high of this whole thing and being able to hit 50k and everything. That's kind of 
keeping me That's in awesome. more of a positive mindset. But once all the highs come down and it's like back to this, hey, I lost a subscriber. Somebody was like, man, I didn't win. Unsubscribe. Um, <laughs> don't do that. Stick around. <laughs> Um, He's the best, you guys. We'll, we'll you gotta more. stick around. He's awesome. <laughs> if you, you. want to see things, if you don't get to watch Seahawk games, and you live in another state or somewhere else that you don't get to see games, Norm is the best. Thank I you. will tell you right now that is when my our internet or our so our TV subscriber wouldn't didn't have Fox, so I couldn't watch the games. I went on YouTube that's and that's how I found Norb so long ago and that's how I was watching games and now here I am here he is at over 50,000 subscribers and <clears> I'm still here and I'm now I live closer to him so I'm <laughs> yep. able to see him and we talk to each other and go to games and stuff so it's fun you never know yeah no it is fun you know it's uh, just trying to add a dimension obviously you know People can watch the games on on their own different devices and stuff. But this is just another way we can kind of have a little interaction, True. a little fun, and try to do something different. While you know, because that way when the game sucks, you have a little bit of a distraction, so it doesn't just feel like you're watching a losing game all by yourself. Yeah, this, this game would be <laughs> this would have sucked to watch this game quietly alone at six thirty in the morning, watching the team go down like it did. I wasn't I wasn't all that quiet. I woke up by some of my family this morning at like seven o'clock because i was screaming and yelling at the tv <laughs> <laughs> i set my i set my alarm for i think i got up at five o'clock i think is what i set my alarm for oh, i got up at six i did you not get up six. that early well, I, I had to do a bunch of setup things yeah. and just you know get all kind yeah. of prepared and everything like that but well now we just got to hope that a bunch of the nfc west teams lose and that uh the broncos lose <clears throat> the Vikings lose. We just need uh, we need a little help. We need a bunch of other <clears throat> NFC. The Broncos game <coughs> teams is to suck. getting ready to. Yeah, they're the playing Broncos the Tennessee game Titans. Is on CBS. Yeah, well, they that'll, that'll make me feel better if the like Titans 15, beat minutes. the Broncos. Yeah, if they if Russell that loses, really nice that would too. that would help. <clears throat> It'd make us feel better. I think the, aren't the Rams <laughs> and the Niners playing this week? I think so Isn't too. That the game? Isn't that one of the games? Pretty sure it is. I think it is too. I have to look. Um, let's see. Pretty sure. Uh, Are you no, no, it's Cardinals. Cardinals and Rams. <clears throat> that's right. Oh. So, geez, I don't know. That, that's kind of an even thing. I, I kind of feel like I, I want the Cardinals to win. I want the Cardinals to win because we haven't played the Rams yet, and the Rams should start getting hot later, and we got to play them twice yeah. still. So we need the Cardinals to beat the Rams. We need the Chargers to beat the 49ers, and that's prime time. We need the Titans to beat the Broncos. And those are the yeah. games that really matter here. Maybe, maybe the Packers knock the Cowboys down a peg just to help us as well. And the Bills need to beat <laughs> yeah, the Vikings. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. And the Texans should beat the Giants. And the Steelers need to beat the Saints. So, <laughs> just Oh, and the Eagles should lose too. So we need all the, all the good teams in the NFC to lose. That would make me feel a bit better today. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I guess that's it, you guys. Um, oh, my Discord go again. Got kicked out of my Discord again. Happens way too much. <laughs> I was like, you're done. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's saying, saying goodbye for me. <laughs> that's what I said. I was like, what the heck? Oh, well, I guess he's yeah. saying he's in. Yeah. <laughs> So oh Richard's God. in here. Richard, thanks for being here. Moxier one year L Y T can't read your name, but you got headphones in there. Thanks for being here, brother. Yeah. Should have won that game. Too many mistakes and missed opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. Too little, too late. And a defense. Where was the defense at the end? It's like defense make a stop. They were playing so well, but not this game. Mm. Yeah. And our defense has been doing good too. Yeah, they three were. straight win games and the way Brady's been playing, I thought we had this in the bag. Maybe they still had jet lag or they needed more coffee <laughs> this morning. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it, yeah. I woke up at like 8 o'clock and it was 0-0 zero, zero in the first quarter. So I'm like, what the flip is going on? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Otter was in here. I uh, said Richard, Roshi, thank you. Shardall, the 49er fan. Thanks for being in here as well. And Carolyn didn't Hoping for something good just didn't quite work out for us. 
Yep. Not today was not. It was not our day. Yeah. Uh, not all our right. Day. Better luck next. Next. Better luck next week. Yep. I'm well, gonna have a bye next week. My, my, uh, so. You know, it's, what's crazy is you know, I, as much as I felt like I, I really didn't give the Seahawks very much credit for our. You know, in my prediction video, in my prediction video, which I'll show different clips of what I predicted as the as the weeks come along, but I was only off by one game in the total sum of things, and so so far, yeah. And I predicted yeah, eight, I predicted was. eight and nine, but really, it was this point of the schedule where I thought we were going to hit the really tough sledding of the schedule. Yeah. Of course, I thought we were going to win this one. Changed my my my, my prediction. We lost anyway, so this one. Now, I originally thought we were going to lose to the Raiders as well because I thought the Raiders were going to be good. They're not so good, so hopefully we can beat them at home. And then we play the Rams. So originally I thought this was going to be a three-game skid playing against three really good teams. But now it's like, well, we thought the Bucks weren't going to be very good, and look what they did to us. So now it's yeah. like you really can't Definitely. say, oh, well, we should beat them because they're not very good. Well, we just got beat with, <laughs> by a team we thought wasn't very good. So yeah, everybody the Raiders has a good day, dangerous. you know. Yeah, the Raiders can suddenly wake up. Here in, in the VC. I mean, Wait, yeah, what? Right. What? Oh, Canadian Mint on top. Let's bring. Oh, is it him or her? Go. Bring yeah, him in. Canadian here. Mint on top. He came in just at the right time. Congratulations on winning the contest. That's, Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Where are you from? <clears throat> uh, Canada. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Uh, so, oh yeah, Canadian like, mints on top. I guess, uh, I guess. But what what part of Canada? Toronto. What do you say? Yeah, um, oh. uh, Western Canada, close to Vancouver and Seattle, of course. Vancouver, okay. like, in, in that general area. Close. That's actually really close. So Vancouver, okay. Area. So hopefully, I don't yeah, know. I, I, I hope it's not going to be challenging. Now you just made it challenging on me, so now I got to send this internationally because it's crossing the the yeah. borders. <laughs> I hope that doesn't make it more challenging getting this across the border to you. Yeah, and, and le- at least I don't live in Europe, though. Yeah, right. At least it's not yeah, going yeah. over the ocean. Something, <clears throat> yeah. But make sure yeah. I got to make sure I get your uh, your address. So <laughs> yeah. you know, message me your your information so that I can, I know where to send you this prize package. All right. Okay. Are you new to my channel? Are you? I uh, I don't recognize your name. Are, did you just subscribe and join this year? No. Or have you been here for a while? No, I've I've been subscribed since like the uh, video you made on like at Super Bowl Forty Eight or whatever. I've been around for a long time. Wow, that long, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're just normally not involved. You're not usually in the Discord <laughs> chatting like this. Almost yeah, as long as me. Because I, I do other stuff. You know what, Anthony? Uh, AD's back. Okay, AD. Yeah, we're just uh, t- we're t- chatting with the winner of the contest, Canadian Mint on Top, also known as Red Kraken 18. So I, I'm curious about the Red Kraken 18. What is that name? Where does that name come from? Uh, red is my favorite color, and one of my favorite hockey teams, even though I live in Canada, is just Seattle Kraken. I'm most a Leafs and Flames fan, so... Oh, okay. okay. That's that's interesting. That that of you live in Canada and you could have had a plethora of hockey teams that you could have chosen from. Yet you chose the Kraken, which is pretty cool. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah, most of Flames and Leafs fan because I do have a Flames and Leafs jersey in my my and I flogged it though. So Flames, Leafs, and Kraken. So you have three teams that yeah. you're kind of. So what happens if two yeah. of those teams play each other? How do you root for them? You wear like uh, one jersey on top of the other. Again. I that? don't care who would win that one. So really, it's like a win-win situation. You're happy no matter what. Yeah. Well, I guess that works out pretty good if you have uh, three yeah. teams. And I, I've I've never you understood that. If you had if you had two teams that you liked and they both played each other, that'd just be weird. Like if I was a Bucks fan and a Seahawks fan, I'd be watching going, "Yay! Oh no! Oh yay!" No, I don't hey! know if you were a better- <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> but, if you were a Bucks fan, I don't know if I could handle you. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to handle myself if I was a Bucks hey, fan. Hey, Norm, I got, I got the, um, I got the Seahawks winning, um, over the Raiders, fifty-two to twenty. I got Geno Smith throwing for three fifty yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and Josh McDaniels is going to get fired. Really? Okay. Well, I like that. that, 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 that wow. He's an ass of a coach, and nobody likes him. 
Wow. Well, he, he has sucked pretty bad jerk. as a coach. Got the heater. Yeah, the jerk. Fired hmm. him. Wow. Wow. You, you say that Pete with Carroll some vitriol. The Raiders, man. Wouldn't Pete Carroll be a good uh, fit for Josh McDaniels if he gets, if, if, um, who would be a good fit for Josh McDaniels? Who would be a good fit for Josh McDaniels? You mean like, like if, if he, he got fired? fired? If he gets fired <clears throat> from the Raiders, who would replace him? Hmm. Who would be a good head coach replacer? I don't know. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Who are the uh, available coaches out there? Oh, well, you know, the the, the biggest uh, coach that's available right now that everybody wants is Sean Payton, cool. the former coach of the Saints, who's kind of just sitting back going, hmm, where should I go from here? What team do I want to coach? Everybody wants a piece of that. So, you know, maybe Sean Payton so could a be pick good. Of, he has a pick of the litter. He could go wherever he wants, yeah. basically. So he'd be obviously hey, a, a, an easy choice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, speaking of Canada, speaking of Canada, um, they have a baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays. Yes, they do. Should oh, they yeah. have an NFL team? We have that one. Oh, good question. No. Um, I don't know. I, I, they, obviously, the NFL is expanding a lot to have their reach to have – more game visibility in other countries. You know, they've hit Mexico. I think they have played some games in Canada at some point. Um, in fact, the Seahawks game was played in Canada when we had to play the Bills and they were getting their new stadium made. I don't know if you guys remember that. In 2012. I think we played across the board. I didn't know that. Uh, and then, yeah, it was where Earl Thomas had a pick six. It was right after we beat the Cardinals 58 to nothing and we destroyed the Bills because they sucked back then. Um, pretty sure that was played across the border. Um, and then we... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, and then Germany. So Germany, London, Mexico, and we'd add a little bit of Canada in there. So would they ever have a team based out of another country? That, I think that would be the hard part. Is that it's one thing to have one game where you go across the border. Just, you know, And I guess that's not, it's still East Coast time, so it's not like having a team that plays out of Germany. But imagine having an NFL team who's based out of Germany, for example. So every week, somebody has to go leave their time zone internationally to play there. You know, either them coming to the United States or someone going there on a regular basis would definitely make things logistically challenging. But Toronto, technically, you know, same time zone. But I don't know if there are stances on teams actually in the NFL that are from other countries. Because you're right, Major League Baseball has got the Toronto Blue Jays. And they used to have Montreal Expos before they became the uh, Washington Nationals. So they used to have two. Yep international teams but it's a good question i don't know if that's their end goal if they want to do that or not Norb, if, this, if they would build any statue of any seahawks player outside lumen field who would that be <laughs> that's a good question um have hmm. any uh have any uh have, have any uh, thoughts in mind any candidates maybe like uh dk metcalf or uh tyler lockett or uh Geno Smith, you like Geno Smith? That's your guy. Geno Smith's your guy, right? Uh, you want Geno Smith? That's your guy. You love Geno Smith, uh, bro, man. He, no, I bro, I'm not gonna. Uh, you you got to at least like win a Super Bowl guy. or something. We start talking about statues. The closest to actually that uh, there was actually a big movement to try to get a statue made back in 2014 was uh, of, of Richard Sherman of the Tip. There was actually a group that yeah. was was. Uh, campaigning to try to get a statue of the tip well, being we should made. play the clip <laughs> and, uh, again you know th that would have been uh something uh, but the uh, that that never transpired and you know you think about like philadelphia they made a statue of um uh what's his name the uh who was the quarterback who led them to their super bowl win a few years ago um nick Foles. Foles. They made a t they made a statue of the uh, that Philly special play. I think of Nick Foles catching the football or something. If I'm not mistaken, so it feels a little odd though now because he was never even really their franchise quarterback. He filled in when uh, you know uh, Carson Wentz got hurt, and now he's gone. He left like right after that. So it's weird to have the statue of a guy who was like here for a half a second, but he won the Super Bowl. It's like this. This guy was hardly here, and they got a statue of him made. So I don't know. Right now, you know, I would have thought Russell Wilson would have been on track to eventually get a statue made at some point. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> that ship has sailed. I don't see any that Russell would, Wilson statues that being made. Any. Be a good thing. Somebody would vandalize yeah. that yeah. statue. Marshawn Lynch statue be would. Could he yeah. See that at some point. Marshawn would be a good candidate. Yeah. yeah Beast Quake. Mm hmm. You know, I, I, that's something in time that could, that could possibly happen. Of, 
Yeah. From Beastquake. Hey, you know what? You know? Why not? Nobody thinks about this, but Pete Carroll. I mean, Pete Carroll's been here hey. through all that. Yeah. Right? He's made it here. He's la- outlasted Russell. He's been here for 12 years. Most winning as coach. Yeah. Got us our only Super Bowl. Made it to two. And who knows? I mean, by the time he's done, you know, maybe there'll be one more accolade he can hang. If, if he does that, maybe he should deserve to have a uh, some kind of, you know, statue yeah, or something Lord. in his in his honor because really when you think Nobody about it he's outlasted them all you know so hard to talk statues after a win or a loss like this <laughs> if we won know, we could be like, oh man positive. maybe we should talk about a Gino statue stay positive, stay positive. <laughs> but, you know, but there's a long way to go. But yeah, we need we need we need more Super Bowl, you know, hey, some kind of Super Bowl action now. before we can start talking, uh, you know, next level statue mm-hmm, stuff. Mm-hmm. But no, I, hey, I'd say are. he's definitely in consideration for something because he what he's done in the last twelve years is pretty amazing. Twelve years. Hey, Norm, I got a good a question, buddy. I'll hey, be Norm, the I'll player, be the judge which, of that if it's a good question or not. What's your question? Which player would you like to win comeback player of the year for the Seattle Seahawks? Well, that's a pretty easy one. There's only one guy who's really in for that one. It's been in the conversations a lot. Geno Smith, um, still in the running yeah. for that come, comeback player. It's kind of funny because people you know, who've, who've questioned that say, um, oh, there's Largent. Uh, Alina's saying Largent. Yeah, of course, uh, there's, there's the old time Largent. It, I, I think the only reason I didn't say Largent, I'll, I'll finish my question in a second, but the reason the Largent thing doesn't feel like it, well, it's been so long, you would have thought if there was a question to have him made a statue into that that would have already happened. That conversation would have already happened, but it, and it hasn't yet. True. So, but, you know, I guess if they were to have a, a, you know, like the 50th anniversary, right? The 50th anniversary of the Seahawks um, formation is coming up in a few years. They were formed in 76. So we're only four years away from the 50th anniversary of the formation of this team. So maybe that could be a time when they might create something special, but but yeah, he would be—he would definitely be a guy that is worth you know consideration, uh, Hall of Famer and and all that stuff. But you'd think it's somebody should be in the Hall of Fame before they should have a statue made, you know. And all those guys we mentioned could end up being again. There you yeah, are. Uh, Nor, but I got a really cool win. birthday present on uh, coming this next week, uh, next Saturday. I got a. Thing called an Apple Air Tag. It's like a keychain. Oh yeah, I know that. Thing. So if you lose stuff, you can find it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my lanyard, and I got a special little keychain for it. <laughs> Better be careful with those things. Is that way? So if your and grandma I, loses you, she can find you. <laughs> like where'd Tyler go? He went on a walk, and I can't find him. Let's find him on my phone. There he is. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's actually not a bad idea, you know. Yeah, yeah, and I also got this really cool gaming a, a bag for my all my stuff, my new my new Xbox, my iPad, my everything, all my chargers. Nice. I assume your best your best present for your birthday though is the Xbox, right? Wasn't that the big one? Yes, the Series S. Yep, I got everything That's downloaded. Cool. I got the GTA and uh, Madden twenty three, the nice. Series X S and Why? X version. Yeah, the only problem is that oh. there was one present that you didn't get. Oh. And that was a Seahawks win today. Oh, yeah. yeah. That but was a present okay. we were all supposed I to have today. I still had fun with my mom and dad. We, we just hung out and had... And with my grandma this, that day, too. I went to the rink and everything. Nice. Anthony Early v. morning. Did I get back to the question I was going to answer? Just No, you did not because you got disconnected. I got, I got disconnected and I got... Yes, I got you off did. on a tangent. What was the? What was the? We were talking about statues, or is this something else? No, it was. Uh, I, I think the player of the year or something. Oh, the sure. comeback uh, player. Yeah, Geno not, Smith. Yeah, yeah, Geno Smith, there comeback player of the year. Yeah. But oh, why it's been criticized a little bit of why? Well, how does that make sense? Because a lot of times, as the comeback player, it, it's given to somebody who's overcome an injury. That's you know, yeah, take him a lot, and then they come back like, well, they came back from this knee injury. They came back from this, but what does Gino come back from? That's the big question that that, that critics argue. Like, well, what did he come back from? He just come came back from sucking, came back from being on the bench. You know, what did he come back from? But I think that's the thing is that when when he really just hasn't done anything, so he came back from sort of basically being that They're kind of being relegated team. as a backup player and coming back yeah. and making an amazing uh, run. So. 
Would uh, have been a nice little feather in the cap to add one more win total in game where, you know, that would have been a could have been a game winning drive at the end, but as it turns out, yeah, never got you know, that chance. At least the backup quarterback, you know, is halfway decent that we got that we have. You know, our backup quarterback came, became our number one quarterback, and yeah. we were all worried, myself included, about thinking that this year we were going to just lose everything. Well, but, you know, I mean, I think we, you know, every once in a while you get a game that we just go, man, we should have lost that one. But so six, you know, six and four. No matter what, good. We, we can't be any worse than 6-11. and 11. All right, so we lost every yeah. single game for the rest of the way, which I can't say it happening. We'll be at least 6-11, and 11, which is more than most anybody gave us any credit for. I think a lot of people had us winning maybe three wins, four, maybe five. Now, I said we'd yeah. be 8-9. I still think we should do better than 8-9 and because at 6-4, and four, we only need to win two games to meet my expectations. I feel like there's more yeah. than two wins down the line here, but... It all kind of depends. This is this is not an easy schedule because if you look at the rest of it, flash up on the screen. Look, there it is. That whole stretch there. We get the bye week, and then it's um, Raiders, Rams, Panthers, Niners, Kansas Raiders City. Suck. Rams, someone suck. Kansas City on Christmas then Eve. Kansas City in Kansas City, New York Jets and L.A. Rams. So the thing now is New that, Jets. yeah, I mean, yeah, the, yeah, the Rams suck, but then we thought the Bucks sucked. The the Rams look like they kind of suck, the Chiefs. but the Rams yeah, really also the Chiefs. The Chiefs the that's going to be tough. Is, but the yeah. problem oh, yeah, is, I thought is. the I thought the Panthers and the Jets would be an easy game, but the Panthers kind of have a way of being surprisingly difficult, and the Jets are really good this year. So there's really no easy games. If you were to Jets. probably say the easiest opponents would be the Raiders, it's easy to write them off. But Raiders, gotta, Rams, so and Panthers are the easiest. But the speed. Rams, yeah, they're a bad version of the Rams, but the Rams still play us tough. And so we I haven't mean, swept the Rams in a win. long time. So, you know, to sweep, sweep the Rams will be tough. The Niners are going to be tough. The Chiefs are going to be tough. The Jets oh, are going to be tough. Easy. And the Panthers are maybe the only team I'm worried about. That's to be really? You think all these are easy, huh? You think we're just going to walk over the Rams? We're going to walk over the Jets? We're going to walk over the the Niners? Mm. I think it's harder than you think. All season long. I'm just telling you. So, for us to do better than my eight and nine prediction, where are our three wins coming from? Who are you going to beat? We're going to beat the Rams, right? We're going to beat the Raiders, right? The Rams, the Raiders, and the Panthers. That's going to be easy. That's going to be a win. Raiders. we probably will win. If we play well, Rams both times will probably win. Chiefs, that will be the toughest game Raiders, of the season so far. Panthers, the Jets at least. Yeah, like the Panther, the Two Chiefs is going to be the toughest game because I'm, I'm just saying it's. We could easily not go 500 the rest of the way. I, I could see the Rams suddenly getting their stuff together, kind of like what the Bucks did today. I, I would really be disappointed if we lost to the Raiders. We have to beat the Raiders, and we got to beat the Panthers. So those technically, I feel like, yeah. are the two weakest teams on this schedule. I'll be happy if we split the Rams. But Frisco is going to be tough. They're going to be better than uh, they've killed us last time, and they're going to be even better this time around. Kansas City's going to be really tough, and the Jets are better than oh, yeah. they've been. So this is a really oh. hard stretch down, down the way that could mess up our hopes and dreams so we're gonna have to get it together but this loss definitely i am, I am really like hoping that we beat the niners i have a feeling we will we typically it'll do. be a great um, exciting game that's for sure oh how many wins do you think the seahawks will have by the end of the season no, they're going least... the second play in their sack in the, the titans quarterback we just lost in the Panthers. Oh, is that the, game going already? Lost, uh, yeah, um, just Lions did. last week. That was hilarious. Well, we could react to this game for a little bit. Hey, Nor, we did by the Packers to the Lions. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? The Packers and the Lions? Oh, yeah. All right, so, well, I guess you know, let's let this go for a little I bit mean, here. We, we got the Titans and the Broncos just getting started. Titans with the football. Tannehill got sacked again. Head. Or is that the one you're talking about? No, that's 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 the second one. Oh, there's a flag. Pull up the scoreboard, Norb. 
on your thing. Offside defense. Okay, okay, okay. that's going to change things a little bit. Because we're going to roll for a little bit. Why not? Right? <laughs> yeah, and, and and the Green Bay Packers are not the team they once were because Aaron Rodgers is so bad. That's they're falling true. down a hole of failure. Because the Packers have been slacking lately. They're really bad. They're not the team they once were. They were a really good team back in the day when they had it, but now they're not really good anymore. They suck. <clears throat> well, they're 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 they have really definitely good. sucked this year. Team. Nobody should ever watch the Packers because they suck. Why should <laughs> anybody watch that? Hey, team? I'm enjoying them <laughs> sucking this year. Hopefully no, they but, keep hey, sucking. Yeah, for us. Oh, oh. Go. oh my like God. Him. He dropped the pass. Easy oh, first God, down. He dropped it. Come on, Aaron Rodgers. Stop Titans. making mistakes like that. You're a quarterback. Stop doing that. Well, they should run the ball. No, but well, Aaron Rodgers doing a quarterback. They're not running the ball. He shouldn't be making mistakes, right? He should be thinking correctly, accurately, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to throw? Well, he's been probably <laughs> All hit so many times. He doesn't catch the but ball. He, what is wrong with him? Don't quarterback well, no, their best like weapon is like, Aaron like, Jones. Like, what am so I going to do? run the ball. Oh, yeah, the Packers that, definitely Aaron Rodgers doesn't do that. Aaron Rod- quarterback Aaron Rodgers doesn't Aaron Rodgers do is not the player he once was, so you yeah, can't rely on exactly, that. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Oh, yeah. No, no, do anything. No, that's exactly what I was Down saying. inside the five-yard line. Not the QB he once was. That's what I was trying to make. That's my point. He's not, All right, he's not here, here comes Russ. And All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to watch. We'll, we'll stick for this, this opening drive, uh, and then we'll probably yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't like the Packers, man. They're not going to make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, they have no chance of making it to the playoffs. Period. Yeah, they they they're they're uh, they're okay. underrated on every level. Here. They Somebody stop. needs to be Aaron muted. Rodgers is really good. bad. Devonte Adams is um you know kind of decent, but he's he's uh, kind of getting the better. The weird thing before the game, Russ wasn't the one in the middle of the pack giving everybody the speech about we're gonna <sighs> win, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. It was uh. Oh, I can't. I think it was number 15 was in the middle of doing all that stuff. Interesting. All right. yeah, the, it's going to throw. Denver. Goes deep. There's nobody there. Receiver fell. Oh, the receiver hurt his ankle. <laughs> I don't like oh, Jerry Denver Judy just hurt his ankle. He's writhing in pain at the 33 yard line. Oh, Iron Wolf, I was trying to say that the and Denver 10. Broncos keep on playing horribly, Nathaniel Hackett might get. Can from this team. Right, I'm like, going to. Uh, I'm gonna just watch this game a little bit here. Quiet the noise for a second as Wilson looks in on his teammate. And it's a commercial break. Okay. He's a bad head coach. You think he want, he needs to get fired? Or do you think he Which should coach? let him stay a little bit longer? Which coach? Hackett? Nathaniel Hackett, the head coach of the Broncos. I think it depends on what happens here. I mean, I, I think... No, do you think you'll get fired, or do you think they'll <coughs> keep him for a little little longer until they find out that when he needs to get fired? I think they'll give him... It depends how it goes. If they lose ugly like the next three games, they could fire him then mid-season. He'll get fired. But I think if then he get fired. finishes, like, somehow makes it to 500, they'll at least give him the rest of the year before they make a change. I don't think he'll be and, a coach for long, though. So you don't think he'll be a, he'll be a coach for the Broncos any longer until he gets fired? Uh, I think he'll make it to the end of the year unless they really, really, really just totally suck. Because everybody's putting him on the hot seat. He's going to get fired. It's like a big controversial topic. But if he doesn't fix what he's doing, they're going to get fired. He's going to get fired by the end of the season. Well, lots might. of people are going to get Lots of people with the Broncos are going to get transferred because like, they're not going to be able to pay them because, because of Russ. Like, what's, the, what's the decision they should make here? That is very true. But then all my friends are saying, fire him. Fire that guy from the team. He's not supposed to be here anymore. They're all saying that. So I'm like, I got to friends. Your friends can say what they want, but it actually happened is two different things. So you're saying that my friends can say that he, he should get fired from the team. Like, the Broncos don't need Hackett. A lot of a lot of Broncos fans want to see him hack fired. It's just like there's a lot of Cardinals fans who want their uh, Cliff Kingsbury fired. They want their general manager fired. They ain't happening yet. Should have probably so happened already. Yeah, for say whatever they want to say if he is he, um, but you have to look at the truth. Like you have to see what's the what's the reality. Just because. 
All right, let's see here. This is Vikings. Whoa, Vikings game here. Just while they're on an injury timeout. Vikings at seven and one. The Bills six and two. God, we could have been seven and three. Mm. Uh, said we're six and four. TJ Hawkinson went from the Lions to the Vikings. Right now, they're on the move in in Bills territory, trying to get points on the board. This is a more interesting game, I agree, but the Broncos game is more intriguing from a Seahawks fan perspective. Let's see what's happening here. Are we back to the game yet? Here we go. All right, switching back here, third and 13, or third and 10. I want to see what, what Russell does on this drive here. Didn't he just get a win? Didn't he get a win before their bye week? It's third and 10 at the four-yard line. Let's see uh, what happens with Russ here. He's going to throw. Looking, throws, left side. Oh, he got a man. He's got a completion. Oh, still going to the 39-yard line. What the hell? What the hell, Titans? Russell's looking that way the whole way. That's a nice throw. Bad coverage. All right, let's see. I just want to see how this first drive goes. First down at the 39. Wilson's going to throw. Darts in the middle of the field. Dropped by Dulcich. Second and 10. Ah, still can't believe we lost that game today. Got so used to winning. Mm, bad throw. He was thrown behind the receiver. He really wasn't open. Force it in there. Second and 10. Wilson in the gun. Snap's going to hand off to number 25. Oh, Gordon is slammed down. Loss of a yard. It's going to be third and long again. Tennessee's missing five defensive starters in this game. Oh, I feel bad for all the German Sea oh, the Seahawks fans who travel to Germany to watch that that game. Wilson has to throw it away because he's under heavy pressure and they avoid the sack, fourth and ten. So the drive ends there. So they will have to punt. Let's take a quick peek at the Vikings game again. And they're in a commercial. Either they scored or something happened. All right. All right, guys. I think I'm going to wrap things up here, but uh, I want to just say a final... Yeah. So much. long to everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Everybody who was, um, let me start with, well, first I got to, I got to shout out to the North fan members, um, like Nick LeBeau, oh, a, gonna, AD, Lori Cross, the MVPs, all pros, oh, IB, Dave Jones, Maria Mirage, Cookbook for Life, Captain Shamu, JD Browning, the starters, David Gribb, who just recently signed up, TCT, Sports Live in the ATL, SG Sports Talk <laughs> Channel, DMAC Pro, Alina Dahl, Sky High Aviation, and then we had somebody new join today. I uh, forgot. Let's see if I can scroll back and still find the name. Somebody joined earlier today, but I can't get that, that far back. But thank you for joining. Uh, I'll remember your name after I, I look it up. Uh, but thank you guys for you guys' support and everybody who did the super chat thing today, who subscribed and got me to 50,000. So appreciative. Woo! Halfway to 100. So, you know, one at a time. Let's keep this thing going. Oh, the Vikings score touchdown. Yeeks. Um, yeah, I was gonna join. I was gonna join your Norb fam thing, and I freaking I couldn't find my credit card, so oh. I. <laughs> oh, thanks, Amanda. Oh, oh, big return, thirty-five, forty. Still going to the forty-five. Still going fifty to the forty-seven yard line of the Vikings. Oh, big I just good start by the, the Bills. Song that you uh, dedicated for my birthday, like the actual but, song on my phone. That'll oh, probably yes. be something I do. Humpty that'll probably be something I do today, since you know it's only ten fifteen and. We got a lot of stuff still to do for this day. Well, my, you might oh, have to set up Christmas early, Amanda. 
Well, again, thank you everybody for for those who subscribed for who. Uh, participated in the giveaway today again congratulations to canadian mint on top for winning i just uh will send this off yep. to you as soon as i get your information and to everybody else who just hung out with us and was in the chat the super chat i uh, hope you'll join me again next time we gotta buy so it's gonna be a little quiet seahawks game wise but I'm gonna still try to do some other things. Some time to do some. Hey, North, <laughs> the M word, the Madden word. We'll try to squeeze hey, some of that in here. AD. Um, Thanks for that video startup thing, do. I don't know if everybody ever heard at all, but tell everybody about our idea. Oh. If we <laughs> go to the. You're, uh, you're, AD, you're really breaking well, up like a. Breaking up. You're sounding like an. <laughs> You sound like an auto tune ping pong ball bouncing around inside a racquetball court. Auto tune. Oh gosh, Nerf. Like I, I am, I am, I, I AD, right. you still there? AD's <laughs> gone. The the, no, yeah, the auto tune left. ping pong ball bounced out of the racquetball well, no, court no, 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 no. into okay. the locker room. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's oh. back. Oh, look at this run! Singletary to the four-yard line. Jeez, Buffalo's ready to tie this game up in, like, split second. AD, what were you saying? Did you say something about me? a good idea? I can hear you now. What were you saying? Uh, tell tell everybody about our deal if we go to the Super Bowl, where are we going to go? I don't think anybody heard oh. or something. <laughs> oh, if we if we, uh, <laughs> if we we make it to the Super Bowl, uh, how we're going to meet up at Mizuki Buffet? Is that the idea? Yep. I'm yep. Just still in business. I haven't been there in a long time. A lot of these restaurants that have closed since 2020. I don't know if they're still around. Let's see. Is Mizuki Buffet still around? Oh, looks like it is. Mizuki Buffet hey. still in play, bro. So if we make it to um, to the Super Bowl, we'll go uh, have ourselves a nice uh, tasty meal over there. That's what I'm but talking about. Let's, let's get we've to the, play let's get to the playoffs that first. We've been deal for years, dude. I know. Well, that's how long it's been since we've been to the Super Bowl. It's been eight years. Damn, man. Time goes by fast. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll have to make sure that I send you some reminders. Yes. You know, about, you know. Yes. Like, I, every now I and then, forgotten. you know, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to, like, blast you or nothing, but, you know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even thinking about that game, but I'm also not making any plans to do anything with my ticket. So, you know, we're, we're yeah. good. Touchdown, Singletary. Bill's about to tie this game up. All right. Let's go. That's it, you guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and let you go. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your football your Sunday. Have a great rest of your weekend. And thank you for all your support in getting me to this huge number. I really greatly appreciate it. <laughs> have a good one, everybody. Play some Jack. All right. Everybody have a great day. Talk to you all later. And go see.